hello, hello, everyone. Kim from uh, KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. We've got a lovely bunch of ladies here today. We are going to be doing stuff with gel prints. Everybody's got their own ideas of how to use them. So we're going to have some fun with that today. It is currently 8 degrees Celsius, which means it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures are rising, sun's shining, yard's getting pumped out. It's a good day. So let's have everybody do a quick introduction. Can we go, Beth? You're up. I'm up. Okay. Hey, we did some uh, jelly prints uh, last year, last month. And uh, I'm, huh? Go. Yeah. Oh. And uh, today I'm going to try to make a, uh, a, a happy mail book. And I'm using my jelly prints that we used last month. Uh, last month, and I cut I cut them in half, and I'm I'm going to glue uh, some uh, fabric on the edges of my papers, and use that to bind my papers together. And I'll eventually put them in the book. And I'm going to put some pretty paper down before I start. And uh, I've got some other jelly prints here that I'm going to probably use. And that's what I'm going to be working on today. And I'm going to have some fun with my jelly prints and show you how you all can make a book out of them. All right. Jasper, you're up. Hi, I'm trying to rearrange my camera here. Sorry. It's, um, I want to not be like this. Do you, do you want me to come back to you? Um, yeah. Can you, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Miriam, you're up. Hun. Okay. So, hi. <laughs> I am doing today jewelry or dangles or whatever it is. I can't is. see it. I don't know. This is not going to be a dangle, but will be could be in a large scale of book or journal. But I have my prints, my prints a lot of them. I have some uh, jewelry accessories that to make. And I did because this need to dry. So it's not so dry as I need it, but at least it's dry enough to do one face. I am going to use the prints. This is soft clay. I made some things and I am going to put uh, the prints like bits of prints on it. And Let's see how far I go. I have UV resin. I have no pliers. So let's see. All right, Dana, you're up. Hey guys, um, I'm Dana from Scrappy Girl Dana Yates, and I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to make some flowers and stuff on my gel prints, and then I think I'm going to make a small little journal and use them in there. Right. Becca. Hey, hey, I'm uh, Rebecca with Create with Becca, and I'm going to, I'm tearing up my jelly prints, and um, we will see what I end up making with them. <laughs> Love it. Surprise, surprise. Jasper, are you ready? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. Good girl. Okay. Anne, you're up, honey. Okay. Hi, this is Ann. I am going to show multiple things that you can do with gel prints because I have lots. This, can you see her? I can't tell. Oh, there she is. This is um, Liv, who's very well traveled. Can you move it down just a smidge, honey? Move her down, down like that? Yeah, lay her down flat on its back. I'll lay her down flat. Okay. There you go. How about that? There she okay, goes. Perfect. Okay, so this is all gel prints on top of a styrofoam head. So huh. after I do cover a gift box, because that's my favorite trick, I'm going to turn this hand into a statue too. So that's what I'm going to do today. Awesome. We oh, like you, Anne. Awesome. That's crazy. That's it? really cool. Oh, down. That's kind of crazy. We're going to keep you around, Anne. <laughs> do what? <laughs> We're going to keep you around. She's, okay, first class. She's first place right now. She is. Yeah. She is. All right, Jasper. Here you go, hun. Okay. Let's see if I fixed it or not. It's good. You're good. Okay, cool. All right. 
So I have these gel prints I did with a, I made, um, I had a 12 by 12 gel plate and I didn't really want a 12 by 12, I wanted a nine by 12. So I did like cut off part of my plate. It was pretty scary, <laughs> but I did. So, so I had this left over, um, this is, I believe, this is like a, a three by nine, I believe. I have to check that, no, six, three by six. So I can do these like long kind of shape prints and stuff. These would be kind of cool, I thought, for like tags. So I have some stuff here I made here. I'm going to do some tags with some of this stuff. Um, I have this little journal I totally forgot about. I started working on this a while ago. This is a cover to it. I did some like collage stuff on it. Um, so I thought I would work in here. I haven't worked in this thing. I forgot all about it. That'd be kind of fun to add some pockets and some belly bands and stuff like that. Um, so that's about it, you know, and I have some other stuff I'm going to do, but pretty much I'm going to just work in here. I think it'd be fun to make some pages in here and just kind of add some stuff to it. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Awesome. Hi, I'm Kim. This is my channel. I have invited all these wonderful, talented people here to play today. Um, I am going to make Kim Bips because that's what I do. So welcome to everybody. I'm going to be flipping back and forth so that everybody gets a chance to be showing what they're working on, uh, you know, during the stream. And hopefully we will uh, have a lot of fun. Uh-oh, who did we lose? Wait. I'm here. Yeah, Dana's gone. Where did Dana oh, go? Oh, her computer shuts down and restarts. I bet you okay, that. Okay, I will watch you. will be right back. back. Who wants to go up? Who wants to be on screen first? Beth? Okay, I'll be. I'll go and go. Okay, Beth's going to be up first. We'll see what Beth's up to. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm recycling a popcorn box, and it's going to be my new Happy Mail book. So I thought I would start by... Uh, gluing some of my painting papers on here and I can get one this one on the front so I'm just going to start gluing this one down and I'm just using regular uh all glue Elmer's all glue uh it's it works fine for me for most products and uh it it's the easiest thing that I can buy and and fill my, bo my bottle up with. And uh, hi, Marguerite. Welcome everybody coming in, and so glad everybody's here. And uh, maybe you might want to get a piece of pen and paper and write some of these ideas down, uh, because there's going to be so many of us talking. You're going to you're going to want to write down, you know, recycle a box, make a book. You're going to write down what what everybody else is making out of their painting papers, like ACTs, and I've I've got some ACTs that I've been doing uh, in a swap, and uh, these were made out of painting papers as well, and uh, so you might even have some ideas that we don't have, and that'd be something that uh, you can share in the chat room with everybody. So what I'm doing is just covering my popcorn box with some papers. And most of the papers that I'm using are on cardstock, uh, uh, which is a thicker, a little bit thicker uh, of a paper than just regular copy paper. So it's going to add strength to my book. And my pages are going to have a little strength to them because I plan on putting, uh, making art pages and making um putting happy mail in in my pages and i can probably show you a sample of yeah of some of an older happy mail book that i've done and this was just done with scrapbooking paper and i used a photo book that i got at the second hand store that had like two postcards in it size and um and I took those uh, plastic things out and put pages that made my own, made my own pages out of scrapbooking paper. And this is where I have some of my uh, Happy Mail, and and I keep it in a book uh, 
uh, some of it's from you guys, and this one's from Joe, <laughs> or hi, Joe, people talking to Joe. But I've got some family things in here as well, but a lot of these things were made from uh, people in, in my group. And uh, they send me things, and, and uh, I either use it in my art or I put it in my Happy Mail book. And uh, I've got another book over here that has just the loose Happy Mail. It's all loose, and I haven't used it yet. So I needed another book, a new book so I can put all my Happy Mails in. It, it, it kind of gathers, and it, it accumulates. I think it does it overnight. It just gets bulkier and bulkier, so. yeah. and uh, but it's so fun to use the happy mail. And I think yeah, like, through the postcard somebody mailed me, and you know it's it's um, it's like a keepsake. You don't want to throw it away, but you want to use right. it. So right. you put a happy mail book in in some form is is a great way way to keep your happy mail and use it at the same time. So yeah. that's, that's what I'm doing. Awesome. Miriam, you want to go big for a bit? Okay. Miriam's up. Okay, so I started with one of the poems that I did. And it's a little bit tricky because it has holes. So I decided not to go. I first did one that I went uh, a little bit around the hall, but I think it's very difficult to do. So I am going to change it. And what I do is I glue it with Elmer's glue. I put it on the sides and I cut it so I can even, so it goes all around. But I did it in uh, black on purpose so i have a good uh, termination because i'm not going i need to this to dry so it's fairly dry on the surface but not inside so i need to leave one part without cover after this is dry it takes like for being dry dry maybe three days and uh, I can cover this part if I want. If not, I can leave it this color or paint it. So I made one part here that I need to cut. That is uh, the part of the... to hang it. And it's simple. You choose a little piece of print. I put here four or five of them only. Here I have some pieces because I don't want this to be too much, too many colors. But you can do whatever you want. I have the others aside. And that's it. I am going to do that with a new, every one of them. And, uh, well, or not, maybe I, I will do the UV first so we can see it in one or two. It is like that. It's a, like a little collage, only instead of in a, a sheet of paper, you do over whatever you do. You can do it with a polymer clay, with hair dry clay, with regular clay. Uh, with uh, this that is soft clay with porcelain, never mind. And you will have in the end some decoration that could be figurative or not. Sorry, I missed that last bit. Miriam, what were you saying, hon? That the design that you are <coughs> To have at the end, it depends on you and could be figurative or not. All right. Uh, okay. Hey guys, Jean has joined us. Let's. Um, Jean, oh, hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Well, good morning, Jean. Nice of you to join us. 
Hey, do you, do you want me to make you big so you can tell us what you're doing? Hmm. What you gonna do? Hey, Flo. And Cheryl. I got you big, Jean. I have nothing started. <laughs> oh, no. I completely what you gonna... forgot. Well, uh -oh. get your panty papers out and start cutting. <laughs> I got the <laughs> papers out, and I had something I was going to use them for. Yeah, oh, good. I don't know where I put it yesterday in the mess thing. Ah, see, I'm not the only one. Oh, there it is. All right. You want me to come back to you? Oh, no, here we go. So, hey, Doug. Okay. Okay, I made Jean, this out of painting paper, and um, it's just bits and pieces of paper that I've stitched together. And I think Ooh. I'm going to make little collages on each page now. Oh, oh, that's cute. Love it's, it. It's <laughs> it's my favorite style, colorful yet grungy. Yeah, Jean, you did now, beautiful work. A lot of people say that. They, they tried the grungy, or I've heard people say, they've tried the grungy and it doesn't work. And I don't know. I like the mix of it. Maybe I'm the only one, but hey. No, that's a cool idea. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm not out here to make everybody happy. I mean, that would be great if I could, but, you know, it's real life. Yeah. All right. Dana, you want to go big? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happy for your big. Happy in the morning group, right? Uh, okay, so I wanted to do something different that I figured a lot of people would be doing, like using their painting papers as painting paper thin things. So I went and I found a coloring page and I am going to collage oh, with my painting papers. So awesome. cute. I love that so idea. That's what I'm doing with my painting papers today. Oh, that's I awesome. Love. And that blue is going to be the background for the sky? No. Or for his hat? <laughs> no, that's, I'm um, going to use this blue. I'm going to do the hat right now. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah, but my painting papers and I'm just tearing them up and going to use them as, as collage pieces. So that's that's a really I just wanted to do something different than what I normally do. So that works. That's good. He's an overachiever. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm trying good. to make the rest of us look bad. Try <laughs> it work. Everybody's ideas are great. Hey yeah. Brenda, nice to see you. Hey Cheryl. Cheryl. Hello to everybody I've missed. I'm multitasking and trying to art at the same time. And I'm making you big, hun. Okay. All right. So I am using uh, Liquitex acrylic matte medium as a glue because it seals and it doesn't warp the paper. And I just have this whole pile of gel prints and they're done on Carnival Wet Strength because that goes on smooth and thin. And now I'm just attaching them to the hand, which is kind of boring because it's just a lot of gluing and ripping. But I want to show you something else I did yesterday, okay? Check. Sure. Okay. So we all have, if we do gel prints, we all have uh, oh, sprayer cool. off pages, right? Can you see oh. this? And that's awesome. That hand is wow. cool. Oh, thanks. So I have this pattern for a pocket that is like super simple. It's a circle, right? And I took a roll off page that had paint on both sides. And I cut one and then reinforced it with packing tape here and here. And this is all you do is you make these two little cuts here. And then these are all fold lines. So oh, now man. the cool thing is you can fold it like this, fold it like that, you know, glue it down here, glue it up there and flip this over. And you have one, two, three, four spots to put little stuff in. Like oh. tags. <laughs> Or you can take a page and put it on there. Let's say it's on there. You can flip any piece over to the other page and make a tuck spot on that page. 
can you post the circle somewhere sure. where we sure. might be able to so sure this was just an a catalog page right so absolutely junk mail was not going to order anything but what was fun was following Kim's example, I took that one roll off page and one page out of a little tiny antique book and made all of these things from the scraps. I started with a tag because you got to have a tag, right? <laughs> and then I took the scraps from that and made a journal card because you need a journal card. Then I took the scraps from that and made um, some page tabs and then I took another half done tag and added a circle I cut out of my roll off page and another strip and then I made a bookmark out of the leftover page and another little doodad and an altered paper clip so wow and <laughs> that is all Kim this is from you inspiration here all of that is from one roll off page which is just trash on a catalog page and what I had right near me and one page from a little tiny antique book and then I also have a pattern for a big one. Oh wow this Those is another roll off page on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page oh, I love it and you can do that with it so wow. awesome that is using every single piece of paper and print humanly possible i think so, awesome uh, there was nothing left absolute oh there you go that fell off i guess there was a piece there is yarn left because i had a whole ball that stuff so. i don't know if kim would like that or not because she likes leftovers yeah. that's true well i used them all up because oh yeah well, there you well, go I'm, i use a whole page up that way yeah. like if i'm just cutting kim bits i can use a whole page okay like okay cool. yeah the can other thing that. is i like doing that if i'm going to make a journal which i don't make a lot of journals or an art book if you have prints and you use the same pattern over and over you know the papers here and there like i'll make 10 papers and then do that kind of thing with them i think it gives it a sense of cohesion yeah right that you're seeing the prints over and over it's a it's an old quilters trick so yeah that's that's probably where i got it from too and because i used to quilt yeah you just you want to repeat the same thing at least twice like cohesive kind of right yeah i'm sorry what cohesive yes cohesive exactly and here's my other trick for prints you don't really care about i had all these gift boxes um that had a brand on it and i didn't want the brand on there so I just trace it onto a print. This needs to be trimmed still. And all of a sudden now I have a generic gift box. Awesome. Then I have a piece of carnival tissue paper that was a roll off and it becomes the tissue paper inside the box. Oh, <laughs> so don't let anything go to waste ladies. That's my theory. Me too. I Me know too. you're too. so good at it though. I draw it. I do try. David? I just rip, rip it into strips and slap it on there and then see what happens. But you can cover almost anything. I mean, I have, let's see, what do I have over here? I have a little paper mache tray that I don't know where I got it, but I covered it. Actually, I think it's wooden. Yeah, it's wooden. So gel prints are extraordinarily flexible. They or you get a little notebook and you have a fancy notebook now. You don't have a plain notebook anymore. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Use them up. I also yeah. use it for wrapping paper. Exactly. Dana, can you go yes, big now? No. Okay. <laughs> Jasper, you're big. <laughs> okay. Hi. Well, I'm just kind of taking on, um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do today. Um, I think we were going to do maybe tags, pockets, and whatnot. So, but then Kim suggested things like making, cutting up some of my gel prints, you know, and into um, two and a half by three and a half and make some ATCs. So I just cut a bunch of those. This one right here, she also, somebody also suggested postcards. So I'm cutting some, is postcard size five by seven? No. Three by six. Four by six. What is it? Three by four. Four by six. Four by six. Four by six is the biggest, I think, four and a half by yes. six. 
Oh, okay. Well, these have to turn them down a little bit. So I've got some I've cut into for postcards. This is going to be made for a postcard. These are going to be postcards. Um, I'm going to go in maybe and add some stuff to it. So maybe some collage. So maybe some maybe some napkins or tissue paper. Add some other elements to it still because it's got plenty of room to do that. You know, like just this one alone, I can see some stuff. I can maybe some flowers or it's kind of, this one already has flowers in it here. So does this one. So that's what I cut so far. Um, I'm debating whether I should make um, postcards out of this one or not. It goes this way. This is, um, I did this with oil paint actually, oil paint on a gel, a gel plate. These all were like that. And they do have a different effect to it. It has more of a, I find that the oil paint has a really rich color to it that I don't feel like I can achieve really so much with um, with uh, acrylic. But, and I think these are, are these acrylic? And these are oil paint. These are oil paint also. I forgot about that. Um, this one is, this one is just all acrylic paint, but I, I was really heavy on the paint though. Um, the white. Can you show a tube of your oil oil paint? Is it a tube? Yes. Yeah. Um, let me show you. Um, it's water soluble? It's not. And um, how you clean it? Well, you can do it with water soluble. It's not. And how you clean the plate then? No, it's just, it's tube. It's, uh, Windsor and Newton. Uh, here's some Windsor and Newton tubes of paint here. This is, this is my ultramarine, burnt sienna, and uh, zinc white. So I think because of the thickness of it, too, okay. um, maybe that's probably part of it. But um, so anyway, so this one was fun, though. I used my my um, my Fosca. So the very first thing I did on the plate was I drew, well, I had actually, yes, I did. I used the Posca pen first. And then uh, the little dots and stuff. And I, I flipped the plate over so I could kind of see where I was going. So I knew where to put like the red for the flowers. I did the green last, you know. I think I like this one. I think it came out kind of cool. Beautiful. See, this one I think is cool too because it's not, it's going to be so detailed, right? I kind of like this abstracty thing going on. And it's interesting how different paper really gives you a different effect or a different feel. You know, like this rice paper, I think really looks really cool with that. I don't know what to do with it though. I mean, I don't know if I should like make a page out of it in a journal. I don't know what to do with these. Actually, I'm not really sure. Here's what I did on, on brown um, packaging paper. I have, a, I have a big roll of this stuff in my studio. Usually, I put it on my desk to keep it from getting dirty and stuff. But that's all this is. It's just that that big roll of like packaging brown paper, or whatever. But again, I think this looks kind of cool. But I might add a little bit into this. I'm not really sure. Um, And then these here also was, oh, this was oil paint. These other ones, this was all, this was acrylic paint. This was oil paint again. This is on really good quality paper. This is on Reeves BFK printing paper. You can see it, it's very, you know, it's like water. <laughs> I forget the weight of it, but it really makes a difference. So don't you think? Like how the paint sits on the paper. I find this is really, um, you just get different effects to it. I don't know. But the oil paint is kind of a pain, uh, only that, you know, you, you um to clean it off i just use i just use mineral oil to clean the plate off of the you know to get all the oil paint off the plate i use mineral oil um it's, it is fun though it is fun to try this has a texture in it somebody used to be fabric on this one it was a while ago but i guess i really wanted to just kind of do small little things today so i'm, I'm going to do these right here i cut these out these are three by nine once i made them a little three by nine jelly plate I'm thinking these would be cute for my journal for like maybe on you know, belly bands or something like that, maybe. I don't know what you guys think. For belly bands, possibly. For tags. It'd be good for tags, right? And bookmarks. Or bookmarks, yeah. So I'm just having fun. This, you know, I really didn't know what I was going to do with this stuff. So I'm really glad I'm doing Oh, here's my one I cut out. It's not one of my favorite ones. So it's kind of like it was all wasn't that great so I thought you know I'm going to cut them into like ATC sizes and I can really put a bunch of stuff on it and cover up probably most of it by making ATCs with these so today I'm going to do some ATCs some tags some belly bands and some pages in my junk journal um, book thing that I started like I don't know, two years ago I forgot about it <laughs> so why not right and that's what I'm doing that's all I want to know where you got a you got the long skinny jelly plate I took my, I, um, you guys know, uh, Lori, right? Paint girly. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, she she did with hers, and that's what gave me the, the courage to try it with mine. I was very nervous to do it, but I took my 12 by 12. I didn't like the size of it. For finding paper for it, it's just a pain, you know? I just, I, I didn't like it. And I found she had cut hers into a 9 by 12, I believe. So I did. I, I cut, I got a really sharp blade in my utility knife, and I cut it down to a 9 by 12, which left me with a piece of gel plate, which was like a 3 by 12, right? But I, I cut the three by twelve into a three by nine, which is what this one is. And then I have a, over there I have a little bit of three by three by three over there somewhere on where it went. But so I have a little piece and I have this long piece and I have a nine by twelve now. The only thing about it, you don't get the rounded corner as much. You know how you have the rounded corner all the way around. I tried to yeah. kind of like I didn't want to get too crazy about it, just make it a little more rounded on the on those two corners. But I think it works fine. And it, it didn't ruin it. <laughs> it was kind I of actually nervous. cut one down too, but yeah, I never thought to do a long skinny one. Now well, I that's because it was left over. It was left over from my nine, to, my nine by twelve. I'm going to use it, right? You know, since that's awesome. Left, leftover piece to it, and it makes. I think it's a fun size, really. You know. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So bookmarks, all kinds of things. Yeah. All yeah. kinds of possibilities. Okay. Cool. All right, Jean, you want to go up? Um, I don't care. I'm not really doing anything exciting. That's okay. You're doing, you're doodling. Look at that, Jean's doodling. How do guys. I clean my brushes that you use with oil paints? Um, with, I clean my brushes with um. With, uh, uh, Jean's up. I'm sorry. sorry, Jasper. Jean's okay. Big break now. I'm just making marks. I put down a few pieces of, of jelly print for collage material. And now I'm just making marks on it. I don't have any intention on what it's going to be. Red alert. <laughs> I'm sure they're protecting me for something. I don't know what though. If you, if you're like mine, probably uh, the wind. <laughs> yeah, it could be the wind. It you know it could be the uniform guy. It could be the postman. You guys get postage on postal service on Sundays? No. Okay. Unless it's a unless it's a priority or something. No, but the dogs think she does. <laughs> The, the wind could blow the rose bush to tap the window and then they think somebody's out there or the wind can blow something and the ring camera picks it up i didn't hear the ring camera so i don't know it could be just that dad's out there you know which is more than likely what it is it's a hobby <laughs> very true the little one never barked until we got the, the bigger one. So. It's amazing the bad habits they pick up from each other. Just, yes. like, kids. Just like kids. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Becca, going up. Just got to find you. <laughs> there you go. Becca's up. I'm just still... I'm gluing. <laughs> gluing and ripping, gluing and ripping. I've done things similar to that. I've made pictures with my jelly print, but I've never done that little. I like it. It's gorgeous. It works so out. Lovely. It's working out. <laughs> I'm just I'm just using my handy dandy glue stick. I'm not I'm getting my fingers all sticky, you know, it's great. Not the one thing you think, you know, working with this kind of stuff, I'd be okay. But um, until I, this is really crazy, but until I uh, started doing this a lot, I couldn't handle sticky stuff. Literally, I have to, st sometimes I still don't do real well with it. It's it's not a phobia I found out from my doctor. It's a fear, but um. But I work through it, guys. I work through it. All right. 
which is kind of, um, if anyone knows uh, Mrs. Gigi, I worked with Mrs. Gigi getting over her fear of, uh, she couldn't put paint on her fingers when before we started painting, but that was like one of my most popular prompts. And if anyone doesn't know me, I do a lot of prompts on my channel. So it would always come up and now she can, she can. So we both have come out, get, gotten over fears. Isn't that great? It is, it is. Art has, has gotten us over fears. I think a lot of it has to do with the community that we are in as well. That we feel comfortable enough and safe enough to actually do that in front of other people, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And and sharing that we've got the fear of that kind of thing. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. It's really... Getting really, over that fear. How about I've been doing, what, five and a half years, and I still get nervous, guys. So if you're nervous about starting a channel, that's normal. I still get nervous about hitting that start button. <laughs> five years later, and I still get nervous. It's, maybe oh, that's a sign of your, it's still excitement or something. Yeah, it's excitement. I must be weird. It's never bothered me. Aww. I wonder if you ate some sticky candy when you were a kid and couldn't get it off your fingers and made you cry. I don't know, I don't know but it, 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 it's a physical thing too. It's not just something that, you know, it's, it's a, I get physically sick from it. Not, not as much anymore. I can handle it, but I no, I know what it was. It was from high school. It was not from high school. It was from when in, in schooling, when um, kids remember when kids used to put tape on their faces. No. And no. you know, they do the silly thing. Put, I've seen it on even movies where they put the tape from their chin to their forehead and they pull their nose up. Okay. I've seen it on movies and stuff and our kids are putting tape on their fingers. Okay. But anyways, yeah, that, um, that's, I know that's where it came from where I started thinking that was just the most disgusting thing and it would get in my stomach upset. And, yeah. <laughs> that's what it comes from. All right. I'm going to go big. Go, go, go girl. No, go, <laughs> go, go, big or go home. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm making some commits, which is just the little collage bits that I have stored over there that I use for various projects. So I've done a few umbrellas. I've done leaves. So I just wobble cut this. I freehand cut darn near everything. Um, I make it up as I go along, obviously, because just who I am. So I've done, even though it's the same kind of paper, the leaves are different shapes. I do a lot of uh, floral collage things. Uh, you know, <laughs> I can show you one. I just have to go grab one. Um, I thought I had one here. Doesn't matter. So, you know, different kinds of stems and stuff that I will use in collage bits. And then I always wobble cut out some flowers. And yeah, they're small because I do a lot of really tiny, tiny work. I'm surprised you're not blind. You know what, Jean? I have some sort of degeneration in my eye so that it looks like I'm looking through a swarm of mosquitoes. You know how that you get those swarms and they move. Like if I, my. No, there's, I yeah. have. No, these, these are kind of more than floaters. Like mine are black. They are black, black, black. So I can't, I have a hard time reading like print a uh, uh, black print on white page. I can read on my tablet because I've got it reversed, but they move. As my eye moves, they kind of swish. It's very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. So I have I have those, and my doctor called them all floaters because no, they float around, but they're I cold had, black. I had to go to um, uh, really, really like head of the I guys here in Manitoba and it's because the fluid at the back of my eye is letting go and there's nothing they can do about it 
I just kind of have to suck it up. So I have a hard time reading books. Um, Don't rub your eyes. I, I, they, like they say, there's nothing I can do. I just have to live with it. But this is the kind of thing I do. Those who don't really know me, these are, um, this one actually is a napkin background. This is a gel print background, but I do a lot of floral cards, that kind of thing. So that's why I make all these little bits and I like having multitudes of it around. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to, my pump is on. I'm going to mute myself and move over to somebody else. Beth, back to you. Okay. So I'm taking, I did my, um, my book. Let's see what I did with it here. And I'm, this was my popcorn box. And I covered it with painty papers. And I can, st I'm still going to decorate with this. I'm just letting it dry for right at the moment. But I took my, my paper was cardstock. So I took it and I bent it forwards and backwards to uh, get that crease good so that it'll be, uh, it'll look great as a book. So this is going to be the spine. And let's see, which one's going to, this is going to be the front and this will be the back. And I can still decorate it and doodle on it. And I, and I intend to do that. And then the next step I'm doing is uh, my, my painting papers over here. I've got some fabric strips that I, I just ripped about an inch and a half apart. And I measured them to be that long with, of the paper. And so I glue uh, one down on this side and then I open it up and I use the other half of the uh, fabric and I glued the second sheet on. So it's, it opens like this and it closes like that. And I'm going to do all my papers that way. And then I'll show you how I get to put them together at the end to put them, actually put them in the book. I've got three of them made up. So they open up and I'm letting them dry right now. So as soon as they dry a little bit more, I can show you how I'm going to put them, actually put them in the spine of the book. And I'm going to, I'm going to use fabric. I'm going to use my paper or my, my strips to insert them in the, in the spine of the book too. Just that I'm just making it up as I go. There's no rules. And, and I, I didn't, uh, you know, people do this all the time with the, with the fabric making hinges. And, and also, uh, I found another one of my books that I've made over the years, and this was last year's. And uh, the reason why I wanted to show it to you, you can use whatever materials you have online. If you want to do it with the, with uh, string, yarn, uh, buttons, beads, old jewelry. And this was the front of this little book, but I wanted to show you a couple of pages. This was... Uh, some happy mail that I got and I put it in the front of this book and this is a napkin right here so you can decorate with napkins and I love to do that I love to work with napkins and scrapbook paper and so here's another couple of painting papers that I did last year and covered this page but this is a postcard book and I had a postcard swap so I made all these little pockets in my book to put my postcards in that I received from all my all my members in my group and this one here is not completed <laughs> so your work is never finished but i had a couple of other pages in here of art and I, this is what you can do in your happy mail art if you receive a napkin then you can you can put the napkin down and then here's a, a girl out of a magazine and i guess she was laying down it looks like it was a sleeping or a catalog maybe and it looks like she was laying down on the bed, but she looks like she's swimming with my fish. And then, of course, I like to add words. So simple, simple. It's, a, it's just the napkin and her and the word, just three items. And you can make yourself a little art page. Here's another one. And I had a picture of a watch. I've got some, I got some stamps. I've got some gold stars up here. 
at, at one word and just a piece of white paper and a piece of blue paper at the top. Easy, three or four prompts, and I made an art page, and I love that. I love the art that you can do with your, with what you have. This is a napkin, and up here I think is a piece of paper, scrapbook paper, good life, words, and then a picture of a guy walking a dog. So that's exactly all you need for a pay a decorated page, and that's what I'm, and I've got more in this book, but that's what I'm going to do with this with this book i'm going to be putting art and napkins and things in this in this uh happy mail book but uh it's it's coming along really really nice and really really fast and i think i'm going to be able to probably finish it up before we get off here today so is that enough kim you want more <laughs> where'd she go Anyway, I'll just go ahead and show you how I glue my hinges on. And I just take uh, one of my pieces. And you can use any type of fabric. Uh, you can even use paper if you don't have the fabric. You could use a piece of paper this size and just fold it in the middle and use it also on your for your hinges. But it's just a simple, simple elementary way of of putting your putting your papers together and hinging them so this will go on half of it and then this will go on the other half and that's the hinge for this these two pieces and probably what i do is uh i've got i'm gluing two together so then i'll take two of these and put them together and hinge them and then i'll hinge these two together and then I'll do, I'll hinge, I'll keep hinging them together until they're one, one big, uh, one big uh, signature. And then that'll be hinged into the book. And it's really easy. It's, it's not hard at all. Once you get going. So uh, somebody asked uh, earlier if, if the uh, box was going to be sturdy enough for a book. And it, and my answer is yes. Uh, this was a, a popcorn box. Anytime you use a cereal box or a popcorn box or a cracker box, uh, I cut, you can see the box shape, and I cut off one side, and I cut the top and the bottom off, and I leave the other three together, and that's your form of the book with the spine. And and it is strong. The cardboard is strong. And this is, this is what it's going to look like when I get it get them all in there they're going to be in the middle and and i'm going to probably leave some space in between uh some of these uh, joints so that when i do put happy mail on here if it's bulky or something then i've got plenty of room for to add ball because i'm going to have this much room all together and i can always add more papers if i need to uh i'm just eyeballing it right now and uh and you just work until you're happy. You work and work and, and draw and trace and glue until you're happy. And that's that's the whole that's the whole uh, key to it is just work until you're happy. And I will probably put some trimmings on the edge of these. I've got all kinds of lace and ribbons and stuff. I'll see if I can't find something out before we get off here today. So is Kim back yet? Am I the only one here? I have a couple. No, sorry, I'm I back. Have a, I have a question. I'm back. Um, okay. Back. So anyway, I'll I'll tell you more the next time I come on. All right. Who wants to go up, Miriam? Okay. <laughs> I did some pieces already. These ones. These are all collage of different uh, pieces and i need to let it dry uh, do it uh, better like in the cut what i need to cut or whatever and then i am going to paint this one i am i was about to paint these ones and put some uh, uv uh, uv resin this one i made also 
this one I did it different. I put only one piece in every part and I did this elevation that have with the piece. I might put some gold in here, but in the meantime, that's what I did. And I did these pieces too, that is to be the, like you, you, you put a lot of them and you only see this part, the, the, the part around the perimeter. So I did. Anyway, I learned something. I tried to do a color that I didn't need to do the back. So I choose black. Well, it's okay, but you see, it made the colors less vibrant. Hmm. Because of it, because this is a very thin paper and tend to uh, like uh, get lost in the background, but my background is black. So that's uh, if you can choose, or if I can choose in the future, I will do with white, maybe. So all of these are really more vibrant that you can see here. But I, I'm not going to use it for these ones because I did it here and it was a nightmare, really. And I don't used to do nightmares. When I play, I want to really play and do things. These ones, I did it on the straw, in the straw. I, I, I did it, uh, I didn't put it in the straw after I did them, but I did them on the straw. So because the straw is plastic, this one at least, and I can I could put a little bit of oil so it won't be stuck after it dries. Of course, now I am going to take out because it's already dry in the form that I want it. It's a it's like a croissant, <laughs> and uh, now I want it to dry inside in the hole. So it's better if I take it down from the straw and I can reuse the straw. I don't lose them. I can use whatever I want around it. These ones that are balls or more regular beads, I did it by hand. And after that, with a little skewer, I did the holes and I left like this to dry. Um, if it's the right consistency, that it's not going to close. But anyway, if that happened because it left something inside or whatever, you can come again with the same skewer and do it again, like after dries. Um, yeah. So you can see me do it now. One. Let's grab. Oh, here I, I have gold. Pure gold. Let's put some gold, some bling in one of them. So I can do this one. I'm going to put some glue in here. It's the same with those. It's the same. You don't do something different. I can choose here not to put on the sides so it stays um, black and I have really good contrast. I think this is made in, maybe it's carnival tissue. I don't recommend it for collage, but I have, I don't know. I, 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 I can have things that I don't know exactly which paper because I have here prints that I made one year ago and I have prints that I made uh, yesterday, let's see. So I don't, I, I cannot track it well. 
But the only thing that I can need to know that is if I want to do a series and I am out of paper, so I can know how it's done. But usually this is a monoprint, so that this is mono too. Only one. <laughs> Not a monkey, because in Spanish, mono is monkey. So I have some pink here with some gold. So I want to put something else, so I it's not be only gold. Because what is the... I don't need the gold, I can paint it. I don't need a, a gel. All of this, you can uh, sand it afterwards. So not now, because we need that the clay and the collage will be dry for that. But if, let's see, I am cutting the, the, the prints once they are in, in place, I cut them with my scissors, my round scissors like uh, for nails, so it's easier to go round. But if, let's say that I have less, like here I need a little piece, I can put it now, or whenever I am, I, I pay attention that happened. I don't need a lot, but I can put again a piece, and then I, I can cut it. Or now, when it's dry, or I can sand it when it's dry. So that made it more, it's not my, I, I'm not so tidy <laughs> when I work, but it, it will make a tidier work. I don't know if you have some questions or questions in the, in the chat. Oh, Belinda, hi. I am say hi to every one of you because uh, some I did in the chat itself, some I didn't, so. Um, yeah, this one is tricky. I need to left that and film after. And I'm going to continue with this. Who wants to go up, Dana? Huh? Do you uh -oh. want to come up live, big? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Dana. Yeah. Not like so it? much enthusiasm. So I'm doodling Hi. on my papers. And just making some images that I can stick in a book. So. And then I'll add to my images whenever I get them in the book and see where I want them. But I just got like a few things that I'm, and then I'm just gonna make a book out of paper or cardstock. That'll be the easiest way. So, and I'll use some jelly prints in it to make the pages. So, that's pretty much all I got. Becca, want to go up? Oh, I thought I was muted. Sorry. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm still painting collage and collage painting. That's the word I think I used. So, yeah. Oh, it's coming along. Look how beautiful that is, guys. It's like a mosaic. It is like a mosaic. It's yeah. Luna. Yeah. It's a little Luna. <laughs> beautiful. 
you can find some real eyes in a magazine and put and make circles and make real eyes. All right. Sorry, I don't have much to say. I'm just kind of ripping and gluing, ripping and gluing, guys. All good, all good. Hard work. I did two paintings, one meter by 50 or 60, with this with this kind of, of work, but with uh, National Geographic. Wow. All right, Anne. Yes, ma'am. Oh, is my hand in the camera? I can't tell. Yeah, your hand's in the camera. Okay, good, because you can tell I'm the only one that doesn't have a YouTube channel, right? I don't know. I don't know. No, so, I don't remember who said it, but it really is a process of you just keep putting on paper until you're happy. Right now, I'm not so happy with my hand, but it will get there. So that's cool. But I'll show you this. Um, so I did a new thing this week, maybe last week. It's... Um, gel printing with gold this is copper leaf metal leaf put on the plate it's loads of fun it's kind of a mess but it's loads of fun and if that's not messy enough these are done with um gold what is it mica powder put yeah. on the plate first that's really messy but it was fun and some of the mica powders are like this one looked like it was black and then when I put it on there, it was this lovely metallic turquoise. So close your eyes, Kim. They're all metallics. <laughs> I do like metallics. I just don't like gold. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. That one's goldish, too. <laughs> I have gold leaf, too. I had gold leaf and mica powder in the cabinet for I don't know how long. But there's my hand. Let me show you something else you can do. So here's another use. Let me see. I can't tell if I'm in the camera or not in the camera. You're Is the that camera. the camera? Let me lay it down. Yeah. So that body part is a gift box with a gel print on it. So That's basically, easy. in my mind, a gel print can be used anywhere for anything that you would buy paper to use. And um, my own thing is I, I would rather use like my own prints plus I always want a color that nobody else has. Yes. So that, that's another use for them is to make weird creatures that nobody knows what they're for, but we don't care. But this is one of my favorite ones and it's a huge sacrifice in the name of art. The Walmart brand of cinnamon rolls, you know, you buy in the roll, the cheap ones, and then you bake them in your house. They come in, they have this little paper thing with a metal top that holds the cinnamon roll, the icing for the cinnamon rolls. So what I did was, and to make a consistent bottom to it, I had to get another roll of cinnamon rolls. What oh, a shame. Darn. Oh, I know. no. And you had to bake them and eat them all, right? I did. I had to share them, too. Oh, I sacrifice. know. I sacrificed. But so this is sad. what you can end up with from this ugly cardboard tube. You can tell I have spare. Is another little box. Just wrapped in gel prints on the inside and the outside. There's the lid. And I just poked a hole and put in, I think that's called a Chicago screw. But it makes this lovely little box. But I haven't given, I have like four of them now. And I haven't given any of them away because I just haven't. They sit on my shelf. So <laughs> but that's what I like to do. And what else do I have? Postcards. Somebody already mentioned postcards, right? But if you don't make fancy cards, I don't make fancy cards too much. You can just whack up a gel print, put it on some cardstock, and voila, you got a handmade card. And you can even cut an envelope for your handmade card. So basically, or you can make itty bitty, that's business card. You know, you can find them all the time the the pre perforated things for business cards and then i just cut a smaller piece of a roll off i think or print i didn't care about one way or the other slap it on there and you've got a business card awesome I like the whack and slap everything yeah <laughs> oh i whack a lot yeah you can also use your prints for die cuts 
Like, why buy die cuts? Right. Well, Kim can free cut hers. I don't free cut so good, even wobbly. So. Oh, fussy cutting? <laughs> yeah, fu no, no fussy cutting. No, I don't do that. Right, if I can avoid it, I don't do that. But I have dies to punch paper. So, there's some more ideas for you for what to do with all those gel prints. All right. And I'm just going to keep gluing until I'm happy with this hand. Okay, I'm going to come on and then I'm going to give it to Jasper. Hang on a minute. I have to find my cursor. We all know that's the way Kim rolls. She never knows where the heck her cursor is. All right. Hey, Kim, you know what? You need to invent a thing that goes around your neck to hold your cursor when you're not using it. Something like that. Mind you, I can curse at any time. So I just made a little Goonie bird. Again, out of the, you know, this is the same piece of paper that I did these little flowers and these umbrellas out of. I turned some into a Goonie bird. And then, um, so he's that one go. should be mine. It that should one be orange. <laughs> it should be yours because it's orange. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. So I just did a quick Goonie bird. Uh, adding to my Kip Mitts collection. That's what I do. All right. I just have to show you what I was playing with because, you know, Jasper, you're up. Jasper. Yeah, I'm are you going to make a Kim bit while people can see you make it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fascinating. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Start You're making up. a bird, Kim. Make a bird. Okay. I will. Jasper's up now. Hi. Um, somebody had a question about how I clean my brushes, and I use turpentine. This is um, pre resin. They have the kind that doesn't smell, and that is not what this is. But um, that's what I use for my brushes. And then also, if you want to try doing um, oil painting on gel plate, get some get some liquid because that helps speed up the drying of the oil paint. It does thin it out a little bit. It makes it more. Um, uh, it just it's a bit smoother, I guess you could say. So that would be my recommendation there on the, on the oil painting thing there. Um, I wanted to show, I don't think I showed this before, but these ones I used Tim Holtz dolls to do image transfers. These are some image transfers I've made using the Tim Holtz dolls. Just some examples here. Um, Jasper, does the oil paint stain your plate? No, does not it... at all. Not one bit. Nope. Because you're not letting it dry. It never dries on your anyway. Oh, you don't ever no. let it dry? No, you don't, because you're going to pull it. Okay. You oh, know, I didn't mind to pull for days on it. And it will leave, you can get ghost prints from it. Um, it's just like, you know, like using acrylic really in a lot of ways. It's just that, the, is it viscosity? How do you say that? What's that word? Um, it oil takes a lot longer to dry anyway than acrylic. So you, it's easy to get it off before it dries. So I'm I'm still kind of going through some stuff here. Uh, I feel like I'm, I have ADD, man. I, I do. I'm going to admit that I do. We can't tell. <laughs> We and really I start can. and I start looking at stuff and I'm like, oh, but I forgot about this. And then I have those those Tim Holtz dolls transfers that I made. And so I'm kind of all over the place. I'm trying to be okay. I'm gonna put everything in here. So I found some things I'm gonna put in here. I was trying to get back to what I was doing here. Here I use um you guys know um you guys know Devin, right? Yeah, Devin she, Art. I, I won one of her giveaways and it was the this stencil here. This stencil I won. And I I've playing around with it and I made some prints using the, her stencil that she designed. That's you know, beautiful. I thought it would be kind of fun to put this in this book in here. Um, let's see. I was kind of messing around with some napkins, but I'm like, no, I don't think I'm ready to, to get into that just yet. I do want to I do want to use these Tim Holtz image thingies here to make some tags with. I was thinking of doing that. Um, there's a, I don't know if I showed that one over here. I think I did. So, and then I found, I keep, I probably should start looking through my stuff because I know I keep finding more stuff. And it's like, okay, well, these are cool too. This is also done with oil paint. And by the way, I mean, it does take a, it does take a little while to dry. And if you're using this, if you're using the liquid, which kind of thins it out and helps it dry faster, um, it helps a lot. But I think this is, yeah, it's a tiny bit of smudge is coming off that. But you don't have to stress on it. It's not, unless you can go in there and start rubbing on it, it's not going to come up. It might be a little bit. Um, I won't say wet, but it, it there's still some pigment on the paper, and it could smear if you really wanted to go at it. You'd have to really make an effort. Otherwise, just let it dry. It's not a big deal. 
It really isn't. And this paper, I can still feel a little bit the texture of it. Uh, let's see if that smears or not. But it's not smearing at all. So anyway, if, I was kind of wondering if we could do for a minute, could do me a favor, we can get to see everybody on the screen right now so everybody can see what everyone's doing all at the same time for a second. Sure. And answer a couple of questions, if that's okay. Sure. Um, Blinda has a question. What is it, Blinda? Oh, Blinda has a question. I was answering it for her. Does anyone else have any questions about anything? About the Tim Holstalls or um, how I did that? Are those just cool. the cardboard little Tim Holtz people? Tiny yes. People? It, it is his dolls I use. Yes. And I was pretty excited when I found that word. <laughs> that is awesome. Because if you, if you notice, like when you're looking for things to transfer, if you look at the magazine, you kind of tilt it to the side a little bit. You can tell by looking at the magazine, if you tilt it to the side, you look at what's, what's kind of duller and what's shiny, right? If, you look at this, if you're looking at the image on the magazine, you see all the black areas are kind of like more shinier than the background is more dull. You're going to have a pretty yeah. good shot of, of that. And his dolls and are like, what? Not all magazines are the same. They're not, but you can look at the image and kind of see what you're going to get even before then, though. So, like, with the dolls, if you look, take out a Tim Holtz doll if you have one, kind of hold to the side, and you'll see where the the ink is on the paper. It is a different texture, right? It's shinier, right, than the white areas. Or sometimes it's the other way around, either way. But um, that's kind of, I thought, well, I'm going to try it and it works. So, anyway, um, and I just. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you use acrylic paint for the image transfer with the dolls? Yeah, I use I used acrylic. Yeah, I don't think I tried oil. I did try in oil though. What did I? I did try in oil. I don't think I was very successful in that. But I didn't really do. I didn't really try a lot of that. But I'm curious about trying in oil. But I haven't done that yet. But that would be my next thing. I was kind of having trouble with the images. And I ended up with a lot of some of this stuff. You know, we have just the silhouettes of them. And you can use them again, by the way. What's kind of cool about it, though, is when you're using the dolls, you wipe, they wipe off pretty easily, right? Because it's that kind of cardboard, smooth surface. You wipe them off, and they're perfect again. I use them a couple of times, even, like, over and over. Like, this lady here I use a couple of times here. It's the same one. Um, but this was, it was cool. It was cool. I love this one. This is my favorite one, I think, is this one. <laughs> but anyway, so... I'm just messing around. I'm just happy to be here and I like, see people in chat and say hi to everybody and just hang out with you guys. It's kind of fun seeing everybody at once. I have to say, I was kind of curious how it looks. Everybody's working at once. It's kind of cool. People can see every, what everyone's doing and stuff. So, so anyone have any questions at all or anything like that? Jean, is that your black and white book? No, my black and white book is not finished at all. Um, I don't. I put it somewhere safe. Okay, Janine, you're gonna join us next time. You said you're gonna join us, so you're gonna to have to now. You're committed, Janine. Jasper, Belinda wanted to know about cleaning your brushes when using oil paints. I think I answered her question. Um, I just showed. Yeah, I just uh, turpentine. They have some that's no odor. That's not what's. I don't know where that one is, but you can get the no odor kind. But it's just turpentine. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure she heard the answer. Yeah, and then I was also showing this liquid which helps the, it which helps it dry faster and it does kind of is it viscosity if i say it right is that how you say it yeah. am i saying that right okay it changes it a little bit but it makes it more like smoother like um i don't even know how to explain it it's, it's like butter <laughs> creamier it's, it's, it, that, exactly there you go and you don't need very much but it helps to dry speed the drying and make it sm it, and it glides with over the, the gel plate so beautifully you guys it's worth trying just to kind of see how different it it is on that plate. Um, it's a lot of fun. It really is. I, I like, I don't know, it's fun. I thought it's fun. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to just, I guess, keep kind of like trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these in this book in here. I'm going to put some book pages on the back of these and make them kind of like more book, book, uh, bookmarks, I think, instead. Um, I found some more wallpaper. I found some napkin. It has this little girl in there, but I don't think you can see it very well. I don't think that turned out super good. Um, that's about it. That's where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of, there you go. <laughs> and postcards. I'm making postcards, too. Postcards, APCs, and little things for this book is what I'm trying to limit it now, too. 
Janine, we do this the first Sunday of every month. This is the second Sunday that we have done this. We started with doing gel prints the first time. This time we're using gel prints. Next month is going to be a bling-a-thon, different ways to use bling. Um, but if you would like to join, shoot me a message, and I would give you the link to the Sunday. Like, it's a different link every Sunday, obviously, right? So, um but it's usually the first Sunday of the month that we do this, unless somebody wants to do it more often. I'm always open to that kind of thing. I just like the fact that we're all so different in the way we create, yeah. the things that we create, that when we're up here on the screen, those watching can get like, different ideas from each of us. And maybe there's one style that is more interest, not necessarily more interesting, but more comfortable for the way you do things. So I think that these kinds of group craft alongs, art alongs, whatever you would like to call it, are really important in our community because it just gives you different ideas, you know, that, so it's all the same principle. We're using conference, but we're all doing it differently, right? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, so, I'm just going to quickly show how I wobble cut my fish. So I'm going to go live. So I had a little piece of, like, after I punched out the circles for doing the umbrellas, I have the, you know, other stuff left. I don't waste things, right, guys? So I just took a piece and I just folded it up many times. I don't even know if it's six or eight, but you know, it's usually what I do. So then I'm gonna just gonna wobble cut a fish. We're gonna start at the tail. We're just gonna do like a little wobbly kind of tail. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a fin. You know what? All my fish are different. So then we go to the head. Then we're going to do another fin. And then we're going to go to the tail again. So we have a little fish shape. And then, of course, you've got all these little blank fish. And you just put eyes and gills and a little bit of detailing and some shading on it. And you have wonderful little fish to stick on your uh, different things, like on this card. These cards, I, I, I like doing fish with my florals, right? So I just like having a bucket full of little fish that I can pull from. So that's just how I do it. I just wobble cut because that's the way I operate. All right, who would like to go up? Do, 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 do. I have my cursor. Looking for the cursor, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeans up. Hi, Jean. So I'm still working on this. As I'm going along, I'm finding new things I want to do. Yeah. Like I've decided I had to have this oval punch, and I've never really used it. So I'm punching it on the pages. This oh, cool. is a shrinky dink charm I made. Oh. And I, oh, cool. I'm punching them now because... This is really a pain in the butt while I'm working on it. So it's going to come off in a little bit. But I'm, I'm punching the holes and some will have fibers and some may even have paper tabs and I don't know what. But um, I'm just, you know, see, I told you it's a pain in the butt. So I'm just doing little collages and adding some extra marks. I have absolutely no intentions on any of it. It's just what comes out. Yeah. And so this is where I'm at. I decided to pull out the stapler. Um, I'm using all kinds of things besides just painting papers because they're all in the same box. I want to show this little tip. It's not painting papers. But I took a bunch of book pages and just kept them together. and took my Sharpie, which I would recommend a, a ventilated area for that. Trust me on that one. And I just scribbled on pages. So now I have little bits of black and white, you know, and some of them are in, have, you know, certain patterns, but some of them are just scribbles. So, and 
And what's nice is you have it all right here. Absolutely. Just right here. You don't have it like scattered all over. So oh, everybody was doing show and tell. I this is my collage. Sort of like um Oh, I love it. Mosaics. This is all painting papers except this yellow. And it is done like a painting oh paper. i love that oh that's so oh, cool i love it wow. and um so it Making combines such nice work though. it combines <laughs> thank you the, um so oh, painting papers the gel prints the the painting weird the doodles <laughs> and then that's it, fun. it's all all these little vases are um gel print and even this is a gel print the table and it yeah, actually yeah, wraps yeah. around cool. so it's similar but it's cool. i want to do one now with a little bit like Gene, is that Gene, is that mounted on a board what is that mounted on it's a canvas oh some canvas okay wow nice yeah. like a canvas board yeah it's a wrapped canvas okay. and then this is, i was watching something maybe something i paid for i don't know but i took two different people's ideas and put them together and made this i'm not exactly sure on on what it, but each one of these is tied together with a different string oh, it's wow. it's similar to um the pamphlet pitch except that it's you know right here each one has their, <laughs> and then <laughs> This is just Delicious. painting papers and, and magazine images and just did every page is is weirdly shaped. I think I like I think I tend to like weirdly shaped, you know, <laughs> so out of the normal the pages. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, that that was I grabbed what was handy so that I could show different ways that I've used them. Of course, there's always there's always books. Um, this is one of my favorites. Wow. And it's one of the few that I have really finished. Wow. Or come, come close to finishing. I like you showing us all the stuff you've done because I'm just like amazed. I stopped working. I just watch and see what you have right now because <laughs> it's just yeah. all so very, it's so complex. I mean, your stuff has got layers and all kinds of stuff and then more layers and just more interest and, in it and it's just and also cool. i do have some blank well not really blank but um and and it's just i love this i love things sticking over and yeah not, this is one of my favorites i love this film strip over the eye and then it made a tab jean does have a channel oh is that she's got negatives in there negatives yeah that's cool yeah and you know some some of them I've written on some I haven't. This one's probably I have I have to outline things and I have to shape them. It's just I have a, I have a question for you, Jean. Can I ask you a question real quick? Uh huh. Okay, so when you're working, um, like for me, I'm trying to stay organized, but I find it's not working because I grab I gather a bunch of stuff around me. And I have a big pile of just random stuff that you could put. If I put it away, it would go in about 20 different places in my studio. I wonder if I'm working wrong. Like when you're working, do you have to kind of bring out any interesting things? I'll just like, grab a handful of this, and some of that, and some of this, and some of that in front of you as uh -huh. you're working. And then sort of like, I mean, how, how? What's your process? You know what I mean? What's your process? Honestly, I, do, I mean, I'd have to think about what my process is because it's just something I do. Like the negative, that negative you use. Like, was it just sitting there on the desk and you saw it and like, oh, I'm going to use that? Or very possibly. Okay. I, I have different containers and my containers are kind ah, of organized like okay. my gel prints are in two containers one right. that they're ready to use and one that but okay. i tend to pull out of both of them because sometimes i want something a little right. solid right because you're working very intuitively and that that makes sense but see i have all of this in front of me and both sides the table i'm working on is quite long but the computer's on there um under my table i have a file cabinet and it's my portable table i found 
just a short one and I pull it out. So that gives me a spot to this side. And then over here, I put my other office chair. So I am in a U-shaped area to work. And when I, um, Hi, Laura. Printing, see this cabinet right here? Hey, Laura. Oh, these are all different gels. I pull these out when I'm doing things and I need to oh, let it dry. Studio. Awesome. Wow. Look at <laughs> that. is so cool. That filing cabinet is awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. And I don't think, I think I maybe paid $30 for it. You know, what? I was really lucky when I found it. Nice. Um, that's something one of these days I'm going to do, and I'm going to count the drawers. The in my plastic house. ones are so wobbly. The ones you buy at, you know, at Michael's or whatever, they're just, they just seem very unstable and wobbly. And I think yeah. that metal one you have, like, it just doesn't wobble at all. Yeah. yeah. And then this is, this is the last one, and since Laura's in here, um, this is, I'm wanting to design a book, something like this, where the pages this is maybe a board book i i really yeah it was um somebody weed eating or something <laughs> weed yes my son's right outside my window let me mute <laughs> um this is just collaged with painting papers it's like this one's a flower but the rest of them aren't i love it jean that and is so my style wow that's so i just cool. i cut each page to be different Nice. I, I have some that it's mine's not as beautiful as yours, but I have a, an orange a one that I did. It's up on my yeah, that good videos, idea. not my lives that I cut I like it. that. I love that idea too. It's kind of delusional, like the delusions kind of uh, bail like feel, like wrong the edges feel. and stuff. Yeah, they Becca, do you have it to show? Yeah, Becca, you have to show us yours too. Uh, Oh, I have another one that I did with file folders and I cut each page separately and <laughs> each side of each page. And yeah, I don't know where that's at. It's been a while since I've done that one. I'll be right back. I think I might be able to find it. One of these days I'm going to gather all my journals and enjoy them for an hour or two or three. All so right. It's going to be a while. Oh, I would cool. love to see all your journals, two or three or six or 15 or 200. <laughs> yeah. There's always I, room to do a flip through at the end of each video. I have yeah. given a lot of them away. Me too. I've sold some. I actually, I'm pretty proud of the fact that it, um, it, was, a, it was a digital kit, but I made one and then, a, you know, added my own thing um, with Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. Or, yeah, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And um, I sold that one for $250. Oh, awesome. I was really proud of that one. Wow. Hi, Barbara. All right. Can I show you? I've uh, embellished a couple of those little fish. I just want to show you quick what I did. So you guys watched me cut these guys out. So these are, come on, what they look like naked, just totally cut out. And they're so tiny. These ones are embellished. Wow. Am I fuzzy? Is that fuzzy? It's fuzzy. There we go. Oh, lost it. Come on, fishies. Anyway, that's uh Oh those are so cute. Little goldfish or something. Are they gold goldfish? Oh, they're whatever. I have no idea what they are. They just end up wherever I put them. You know. And the then kingfish. Yeah. And then I uh, added some dots to these little flowers that I wobbled. Out. So, you know, every little bit you add makes it that little bit different and then while we were all on screen i made a, three little pairs of glasses because i like having a bin of glasses to add to things as well all right who would like to go up and yes ma'am 
Let's see how Anne's doing. Anne's making a mess. Yay! Me too. Hi, Laura. So there's my hand so far. I'm still just adding papers to it because it's not quite coming together the way I wish it would. But that's part of the process, right? And so we just keep ripping. And if you didn't know, paper actually has a grain to it. One way it will rip really straight, like this, pretty straight. Oh, that's probably not the grain. And the, uh, there's the grain. So if you want wobbly, you have to figure out which way is the grain and which way isn't. I like wobbly. Hi, Barbara. So I'm going to keep ripping. Let me see my, I made a list of things to do with, so I'm going to tell you another one. Oh, this is a good one. If you have a mat or a frame, you know, that's all ugly or you get it in a thrift shop and it's all disgusting looking and, or you just don't like it, you can glue or collage or whatever you want to do, gel prints onto them to change them. I don't have one to show you right here. You can also do the same with a lampshade. I would suggest using tissue paper for a lampshade if you want any light to come through it. But you can do that. And bookmarks and paper beads. Yes, paper beads. That's one of my favorites. If you've never made paper beads, you just need any kind of lightweight paper. Cut it in kind of a triangle, roll it up on something, and seal it up with some glue. Oops, my finger's stuck. Um, and you've got some beautiful beads for nothing. Jean Peter is the paper bead queen. She I is the paper bead queen. queen. Here's my one. goodness gracious, guys. Yeah, she can make them like nobody's oh, business. They are studying. Yeah. Here's another funny one. I hope I got it in the right place. This is a microscope slide mailer. They put microscopes in there to order to mail them. I guess that they're sending them from one lab to the other. But you can get them really cheap. And then you can cover them with a gel print. You put a little picture or something in there and some lace. And you have either a card or the front of a journal or just a little doodad to stick in something. Oh, that's cute. It Isn't that cute? cute? It's so tiny. Yeah. It's so tiny, but they're fun to do. Somebody mentioned bookmarks, too. This one, I screwed it up. I didn't like the edges, so I put copper tape on it to add some bling to it. So that's what we're doing here. There's a request for your paper beads for you to show your paper beads, Jean. Do you have them handy? Um, you know I gotta walk to the dining room. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> what I was doing when you talk about paper beads? Yeah. Beads. <laughs> you have them too? Okay. Do you have them handy, Miriam? Yes, but I, I okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. I've never, I've never made paper beads before. I love paper okay. beads. You're on, Miriam. That was my very first video on my channel that was public was paper I've watched people make them and they look very pretty i like watching people make i did it but i cheated <laughs> you cheated what do you mean yes this is the inner that it's clay oh, oh okay it's not clay the then oh. i did only the last layer right like you do a paper bit so i have here a paper bit that's cool too That'd be a great it's, use for beads you don't like. Exactly. exactly. Yes. That's yes. what I would also, say. I don't like that much. Also, you, know, you don't put uh, gel prints inside. You only put the gel print. Everything you put, you see it. Until the end? The paper bead, you need to do it with papers that are not gel prints. And then the last one. Right. Gel print. You use the pretty paper on the last bit around. Yeah. So this is my how I did it. I did first my bead, as I told you. Then I put glue or in the paper or in the bead. And I start to, to roll it, not roll it. First, I need to envelop it, like uh, everything around. 
and then you can cut a little bit so it won't be so bulky only if you want bulky you can cut like this also and then put everything inside with glue of course in the in the places that you are you have only paper and the last thing you do is redone the holes so i always start covering one hole because when you put a lot like what i doing you missed that the hole will be buried yeah in the paper that but if sense. you start with the, with the paper you will have one part of the paper that you put first right. and i put that right on the hole so i can see the hole through the paper yeah and then redone it with a pencil one side i put the skewer again until the end so i find my other end so my here i have i don't go far i repray that and i again come with the pencil so it will be like put some of the paper inside but not uh, clog the the, the hole and when you finish, of course, you might need some retouching. So you can do it on your hands a little bit. And then that's it. Also doing with the soft clay inside, uh, bring you that a softer, it's not so hard, so heavy. It's very lightweight. But if you put a lot of papers and on top of the paper, you put glue on everything like that, it makes a heavy one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry. Awesome. Awesome. Gene, are you okay. back, hon? I am. Thank you, Miriam. Yes, You're thank welcome. you, Miriam. Thank you, everybody, for being here and playing today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. All right, here's oh, Gene. Thanks, Kim. Look at Jean's beads. These are my beads. Of course, these are my favorite. What? <laughs> Did you make all those beads, dude? You're kidding. What? Oh my god. She has a big old box of all her beads. <laughs> and I, have, I was all impressed with my little box. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, those are all so the spiral ones are so cool. Have you made jewelry out of these? Is that where you made your bracelet from? Like your own beads and stuff? I haven't made anything with them yet. <laughs> I just love making them. Um, I love, I've made, oh, I don't know. I think it's 60 some pages of digital printables. I would do like ma you macrame, like use them in macrame or something. They're yeah. a little fine. They're a little um, fine. They're all hardened and glazed. Wow. So, and then there's some pillow beads. What do you glaze them with, Jean? I use um, triple thick glaze. I oh, okay. bought some varnish, um, Midwest Holly acrylic, and I don't like it. I don't like dipping them. I like brushing on my spinach. The triple thick you brush on? Yes. I've tried dipping oh, them, so cool. and I made more mess than anything else. And then these are um, two beads that I have worked them to worked them to glue them together and then made like little genie bottles <laughs> i don't know what I, I really don't know what i'm going to do with these Jewelry. this one this Earrings. one is um all those colors that's that's markers just i just put it on a skewer and just go like this with markers wow it's so cool i really 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 enjoy it and i and these are papers that i've designed um, I like designing the papers. Um, I am sad when I go through them and um, I'm rolling this up and I think of all that beautiful artwork that's being rolled up and you can't see it. 
<laughs> you, see, you see just a little bit and i'm not going to take the time and design it where it's just a little ink on each edge and then on I, it's just not worth it it's just easier to do it because then i can use those papers somewhere else if i want this is none of these match because i tried this with what beads i had and then i realized what i needed to do so i have wow um, how to do each one, but this is just a regular ink pen. What? That's cool. And I've taken the case off of it, and I just put all oh, the different amazing. things on it. And I have, I, I know what roller needs to be for this bead, and I know what roller needs to be for the other beads. So, you know, I can do it maybe where they're all the same and makes it, you know, not that that matters to me. Um, I've never done anything all the same. Now to get these bright stripes like this, this is solid core, solid color, solid core paper. If you didn't, okay. they would have the whites like this one. See how yeah. it's not the same. The green so one is I, green on both sides of the paper. What you're saying is it's green on both sides or it's white on the other side. No, it's like if you get cardstock, sometimes okay. like with my cardstock, my black, the inside layer is white. Right. She so, has green, solid green. Like it's yeah, solid. So she, yeah. She's using solid color paper. Right, right. Yeah. And it's solid core. And that's, mm -hmm. that's a big difference. I thought I bought a small package of solid core because I did oh, this. And it wasn't. Um, it was, the core wasn't the same color. And this was all, these things are all paper too. These are going to be pendants to hang off the necklaces. Um, yeah, you make jewelry. I've yeah. Seen I've seen them make some of your jewelry. It's beautiful. And then I used the solid core. I thought this was solid core. And it is not. That's why there's so much white in there. But I layered um, 15, 20 pieces oh, that's of paper. Cool. And then, so I, I tried it with the solid core. This one's not glazed yet, but this one how is. How did glazed. you get it flat like that? With a, how did you do that? These are all punched, or cut with a die cut, or cut on my scan and cut. I've I've done both or all three. Wow. And then I just glue each layer together, and then um, okay. you can take sandpaper or sanding, you know. Did you do a video on them? I haven't, but I think I might. Yeah. Because I use a Dremel. I have it from okay. my jewelry days. Um, right. I have what is called a flexible shaft. So well, now I see how you, I know I got those edges like that. You like sand right. it down. Yeah, it looks I like, just, like wood or something. Was there like layers? Yeah, of I just sand paint. it down so that they, so cool. um, and here's the, this one. Um, it needs to have a, a light hand sanding and then be hardened because that some some color in there is given a real dark brown look and I don't like that so yeah. I, but it's just it's fun and you know you would think for the work that's in this with that Dremel because I can control the speed with a foot pedal just like a sewing machine what a cool yeah. idea to do like that. I'm not, I don't know anybody who's ever made that, like how you're doing that, that process with the paper and then Dremel and sanding it down to get the different layers yeah. of paper. It's kind of like when you work on a, like a piece of old furniture, you have different layers of paint. As you sand it down, you get the different colors show through kind of. That's what that looks like, layers of paint. It's been like, you know, it's old or something. It's been around for a long time. It has to look to it. <laughs> well, I, like I said, I, I have ideas um, I've always, I used to do craft shows when the kids were little and um, that was my income. And so I always thought you had to go buy enough to do everything 60 times, you know, and so I, I'm, I can't always get out of that mindset. So right now I've been making the beads and normally I don't even sort by color, but putting them away, I decided to sort them by color. So I can kind of do something and I belong to several paper bead groups and everybody's got these beautiful pieces and they've used coordinating papers to make it. And it's all balanced. If you've ever seen any of my jewelry, there's never a pattern. I love Anything your jewelry. I do. There's never a pattern. 
in fact, one time I had to make, I had a turquoise and green shirt, lime green shirt. I loved that shirt, but it needed a necklace. Well, I couldn't find amongst my beads or at the bead store that I worked at <laughs> anything more than, I think it was a big lime bead and a small turquoise. So I strung it. I tried to do it random. And yeah, that, yeah, and I made it and I wore it and, the, and I went home and took it off and cut it apart. And just that shirt just didn't ever have a necklace because I it, it was that uncomfortable for me to wear the pattern. Oh. So I don't know where that comes from, but I'm not I'm not changing it. You're not like a matchy matchy kind of person. No, uh uh. And and it's crazy because you know some some things I like to match. You know I've never matched necklace, bracelet, and earrings ever. No. But I have matched my jewelry to my fingernails when I had long nails, and so some little things I do. But most yeah. of the time, yeah, random is just me. Yeah, I mean, you can you can mix the two together. Something that something's coordinated colors, and then have something else that's not coordinated. It has a few of the colors in it, and so yeah. then you still get that sort of cohesive kind of look to it when you when you wear yeah. pieces together like that. I would and love to see you do some more jewelry. It's, I think we're doing bling next time, right, Kim? Yeah. Bling? I'm thinking jewelry. I think about doing some jewelry myself for the bling one next time. Next time we do. And I hope, I hope that Jean comes on and does some of her jewelry, too. Well, you know, I wasn't going to do it because I don't do bling. <laughs> but I might be able to come up with something. I don't something know. I see like those gold beads right there with the gold uh, metallic beads. That's bling. Well, maybe. Yeah, it is. I think so. Metallic is bling. Yeah, maybe. I, I, when I said, when, when she said bling, my first thought went to... Hi, Maxie. Uh, glitter and rhinestones. I don't mind putting a little bit of rhinestones in a jewelry piece. That's that I could do. But, yeah. Um, anyway, well, I was waiting to come back on. I had said something about Hi, putting her, um, slots in there. And I haven't done this before, so this was really cool to me. I used the slot punch, and then I just folded a piece of paper over. And I stapled it because I like I have colored staples, so I like that. Awesome! Isn't that cute? That's, That's cute. very of cute. Staples. Where do you get wow. those staples from? Um, you know, I bought them, and I think they were American Craft, and I can't find oh. them anymore. And I oh. bought other staples, thinking they'd fit my little stapler, yeah. and they don't. So you uh, can paint them with alcohol ink. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. But the whole world is at a time. It's all the whole. And you know they <laughs> they still sell this, but they don't sell the holes for it. I haven't found them yet. All I right. thought I did, and I shared them, and then everybody told me, "Nope, these don't work." Huh. So. All right, um, Beth, you want to come up for a bit? Sure. That's up. Thanks, Jean. Okay. Here's what I've done while, while I've been away. This was the uh, the popcorn box. And I've turned it into the, the oh, spine of a, of a book. It's wow. looking so good. I found all kinds of goodies in my drawer over here. I've, you could trim. You could trim oh, with burlap. Yeah, you, know, you can trim any way you want. You could print. You could trim it with lace if you want to do lace on your spine, on the edges. You can use anything that you can find. This is some uh, ribbon for uh, a bow for a wreath. It's what they use in the wreaths to make wreaths bows. I could have used that. Oh, that's cool. And I found the this one last, and I and I picked the thing I. I used it, but you could also use collared burlap would look cute on there and other ribbons that you might have in your stash wow. and that would have looked good, but I chose the, this, uh, wide ribbon. It's a Christmas ribbon. It's got gold on it and I'm going to end up putting some gold, uh, doodling on my 
cover too. So it'll pick that gold up. And then I, I bought this from Amazon somewhere, some gold leaf ribbon. And I, I use it here and there in my art. And I love this ribbon. It's a, uh, it's That's really cool. Oh, I love that too. That's pretty. And you can always use gold. And you can see where I put the leaves on the corners. And I did that with a hot glue gun. But it has to be uh, for adults because I did burn myself. Oh. So, <laughs> so the, the, the trials that we, we go through when we are. But anyway, this is drying. It's still a little damp. And I gotta I might have to go in and glue a few spots here and there. But it had wire in the in the edges of it, and I pulled the wire out. I didn't yeah. need the wire, but it wouldn't have hurt anything if you did left it in. But I pulled the little wire out, and uh, so that's what I've done there for the the spine. And I'm I decided to make a few more painty papers uh, to make some more signatures because I only had five, so I decided to make five more. And I've got one more to put together. And I've got another strip of fabric that I can do that with. But you know, just use what you have in your in your right. stash. Go go I have a box that I put all my ribbons and burlap in. And I just go go and dig through until I find a few things I like and boom, there you go. You got your decorations. And you can also use scalloped edges like with pencils. And make them out of painting papers and use your painting papers for your edges. Uh, does it have to be fabric or, or fibers? It could be, it could be some more painting papers to decorate the edge of your book. And uh, just use decorative scissors. You know that would be cute. Yeah. So uh, there's lots of things you can do. But this is how I'm putting the, the fabric on the page. I'm using half of this material i got some glue down and hey, Beth, the other half. Sorry to interrupt. i have a question um do you ever do beth does a lot a monthly swap on her channel if anybody's ever interested in joining a swap have you ever done atc coins yes yeah okay yes i did them at christmas time last year year before last okay but the, yes I, we swap once a month in my group if, uh, if you want to come in and join in, you're welcome to come and join. I, uh, I try to be very, very fair about our swaps. And uh, sometimes I have to get after uh, some of them to, to hurry up and get it done. Don't wait till the last minute. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I give you all months to do it. And uh, I'm going to have to put a deadline because um, if they're running into each other, the crafts or the swaps are running into each other. So I'm going to have to uh, put a deadline on it. And I think I'll maybe do the 15th. It's just like the middle of the month. And that'll be your deadline to get yours in the mail. That way everybody will receive their swap by the end of the month. Right. So I think that sounds a little bit better. Yeah, I uh, want to join that swap too. But uh, uh, this, uh, this month I've already given out names. But if you want to do... Uh, if you just want to do a couple of cards, I can still put you in. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to sign up today right uh, or sign up, uh, you can catch me on Tuesday, 6 o'clock, and sign up. Or you can message me, and I'll put you on the list, and I'll get you some partners by, by next week. Well, I've got a couple of girls that like to mass produce their cards. <laughs> and so they said, oh, I have a dozen. Okay, I'll put you on the, the alternate list so that you can <laughs> help help those who straggle in. But, uh, but the, yes, there's always room for one more if anybody wants to join in. And uh, if we do doll swaps. <coughs> um, right now, Cindy, 11, uh, she's doing a postcard swap. It's in progress. And I've done ephemera swaps. I've done sticker swaps, punch die, die cuts and punch swaps. You name it, we've done it. We 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 have a variety of swaps going on all every month. Once a month, we do a swap, and uh, and you don't have to do it. 
and you don't have to do a whole lot. You can just do one. If you want to just do one name, that would be great. I, I will give you a name. So it's just fun. Yeah. So anyway, there's my new painting papers. These these dry up. <laughs> so, all right, who would like to go up next? Any takers? Dana? Yeah. Uh, I have my fine. book. Do you want to see my book? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's nothing like jeans, but it's. That's, it's so. I oh, know I love that. Okay. So okay. Cool. I gotta find my cursor. Sorry, look guys. How, look how vibrant it is, and love how vibrant the colors oh, are. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, uh, and I make an oil-covered paper too to make it look like like fabric. And so I <laughs> oil all over my hands now. But uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, Jean's like my hero. <laughs> I feel the same kind of way. I'm exactly that. I'm the person who was talking about. With the, uh, um, uh, I don't. I tried the whole vintage look, and I can't stand it. I'm definitely a vibrant, colorful kind of person. But yeah, it's so funny when she said that because that's what I, I went. I was like, I wanted so bad to have the different shapes and such so i went through and this is actually made from um when when uh carnival is always trying to get me to go out on a cruise so i just took this because it's a nice heavy and i cut it into uh into just different shapes at the end there so it's not as gorgeous as oh it's, it's still beautiful it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, you kind of it. you're flipping through it too fast I like those flowers that you just passed. Yeah. These ones? So, yeah, yeah. All yeah. of them. That was one of my good. favorite doodles. I love that too. It's beautiful. This is a this is a that's a stencil. This is what I mean by everybody has their own style of doing it. I love the flowers there. I, I think I like flowers. I love that doodle too. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Oh, cool. I like the one on the back with the fringes. Oh, those are cool, too. I love every single page. It's cool. It's just fun. Yeah, That's it's what so I did cool. with my garbage that you get in the mail. Right. <laughs> $50 is not They need to give me at least 100 before I consider it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my cat. I took my cat and I glued it. I cut her out and I glued it on another piece of painting. This is a painting paper. And I put it in. This is my. This is one of my art journals. I made this out of, Beth taught me how to needle felt. So I needle oh. felted, that's a piece of, that's wool. Wow. Oh, that's the cover? Oh, oh wow, that's the cover. Oh, oh, it's so Art pretty. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, so that's cool. My cat. I love felted. working in a composition book. Wow. Oh, they're my favorite. They're my, oh. I think that's Jean's voice. This is a, it's my favorite. Yeah. I love the composition yeah. books. So the yeah. perfect size. They're just the perfect size. So, oh, I just said something here. I'm gonna I'm, again. I, I uh, this, I was saying that this, these were so this has been over five years. My very first video, but these are my beads. I don't have the collection. My goodness, Jean. I know, right? <laughs> and and guys, I don't have one of those fancy twisters. I use knitting needles. And okay. I have these different size knitting needles that I use for the hole, and I just stick them on there. And again, um, for okay. the for the uh, to make them hard, I used um, I just used uh, glue, what kind of glue? Aliens, like the aliens glue. But um, and this is all just magazines, and these are all just uh, these are some of my favorite ones. These this here one, those are it's pretty. I love those. And, and little words, and, and that matches your cover really good too. <laughs> Oh, oh, and then I've used pop bottles. Those words are fun. Those words this is are okay. <laughs> made out of a water bottle. You use the water bottle and markers. I put marker on it. 
and yeah. then put it um you know it's on i've never seen anybody different. do it with, with a water bottle before i've never seen that here i think this is the size yeah and then i put a rubber band around it and then i dumped it and dunked it in boiling water and then it holds its shape wow wow um, I, want to see, I want to see you do that sometimes. Let's see that. I like, think we just did it recently. Um, but yeah, it's something I can, I, I like. But yeah, but I, this was just, I'm not a jeweler or anything. I didn't know what I was doing. But yeah, that was a long time. So, did you say that I, uh, I those yeah. beads were your first video? Yeah, my first public video that I put out there was how to make beads with i think it was like recycle use what you have making beads and so i had like knitting needles and i used yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, my first video was um fabric beads and it's still oh, my highest ranking video of all really i yeah. would I, I wish these are uh this i was i thought i had i thought i had some of my boho beads this is the only one that's in here but it's my I use bead caps and uh, this is fabric wrapped around beads so it's kind of <laughs> but this isn't oh, one of the good ones it must be oh that's like beautiful that's gorgeous i that's love making yeah. probably wow. what you call fabric beads boho beads i just love them that's a really beautiful bead one of my favorite beads i've ever made is i took um i have this container right uh, uh that i put all my scraps in of thread and I just took the threads and wadded them up into a ball and oh, took yeah. another one and then just kept stitching until it held its shape. Cool. Yeah, that was I, one I, I actually have been keeping because I do a lot of hand sewing. A lot of people call it slow stitching. I used to embroider, so slow stitching, I kind of had to learn that I don't have to like make my stitches look perfect. So um, it, I've really been enjoying doing that the last probably two years. And I, of course, I don't have one sitting right around here to show you what I'm talking about. Well, Becca, but, um, a beautiful embroidery. Uh, I really enjoy. Uh, but anyways, I've been taking all those scraps, like what you're talking about. And I've been taking, and I'm going to, my plan is to do a embroidery, like do it on a piece of fabric. Yeah. So that's, don't throw your scraps away. That's what's wrong with most of us, but don't no, no, no. I never my my does, but have you seen the little scraps I use? My goodness, I don't throw scraps away. Oh yeah, it's just it's just it's really hard not not it's hard to throw stuff away when you come up with ideas on how to use it. I just I, and, uh, Beth, Beth Dana and I, since we stream a lot, the three of us together, we have talked about that. We we are we we seem to be so much more creative when we use our junk than when yeah. we go and buy stuff right. from the yeah. store. Mm -hmm. We make it up as we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I just finished my first embroidery in a long time. Yes, Jean, can you show that? We're going. We're all over the place here today. <laughs> Please show that. Okay, hey. it's on the table. Just a minute. Oh, this embroidery, guys, is to die for. Let me tell you. Jean, do you do tutorials on your channel? I haven't done a video for a long time. I really need to. Um, I guess somebody needs to make me do it. I okay, bought we'll do it. it. <laughs> I think you just post this. Where did you post it? On my Facebook. Okay, that must be Hobby Lobby and I don't care a lot for the frame, but I wasn't going to spend $50 for a frame. I'm just not going to. I can paint this if I don't like it. So, this is it. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can cover it with painting papers we learned today. <laughs> <laughs> This was one of my doodles. Um, That's really cool. When I did, um, when I made the Defy coloring book, I made um, one this as I a doodle like a where you could Defy fill coloring. in the circles. And I just loved it. And I decided I was going to make an embroidery out of it. So I did. And I've seen a lot of things that aren't, you know, it's definitely my satin stitches need a lot more lot more practice but 
I still love it. So I love it. It looks great. I'm Satin Stitch is one of my nemesis. That and the um bullion. They, yeah, no, this is my, don't like me. This is my favorite circle right here because this just everything worked. So yeah, it doesn't really happen cool. often. Yeah, I'm a, I really like this. Even my husband was proud of it. It's really, really pretty, Jean. Thank you. Yeah. I just want to touch it. <laughs> I want to pet it. <laughs> All right. And yes, ma'am. You for a bit. You're up. Okay. Well, we're still kind of creepy over here and making progress, but it's like somebody said, you just keep adding to it until you're happy with it. So it's not done yet. Can you see it? I need to lay it down. Yeah. Oh, I can't see that great. I love it. I like it. I can't lay it down all the way because I've done it on the back because that's not really smart yeah. to do both sides at one time if you're going to lay it down. But that's okay. But I have a couple other things to show you, too, other ways to use your gel prints. Use your gel yeah. prints. Use your gel prints. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> use them up. Okay. So what, can you see that? If I put it there. I take canvas boards, you know, the cheapy canvas boards that you can buy. Yeah. And they're collaged on there with, well, first I think there's, yeah, there's some texture paste on there. And then collaged with gel prints. Then I, there's paper beads. They're not as fabulous as jeans, but I, I'm kind of clumsy, klutzy at times. So I use a coffee stir, you know, those thin black ones that have a hole in them yeah. to wrap. And that way I just cut them off and that becomes the interior of the bead. Cause I kept gluing the bead to whatever I was wrapping it around. Great idea. So those are cheap. And then I take a cheap stretched canvas, put black gesso or black paint on it and mount that canvas board to the um, stretched canvas. And then you can hang it on the wall and huh. it's done. That's a cool and, idea. That's so that's one. And then yeah, if you have a Q-tip box hanging around, could clean up my mess. This is a Q-tip box and covered in gel prints. Ooh. And then a dangle put on it. It has a little trouble. I have to wow, kind of push that's it. That's beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Um, oh but my I made God, little that's dividers. Great, that's a great full, full rush. You can start to making do. Kim bits and put yeah. your Kim yeah. bits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll come to Canada and hijack some bits from Kim. There you go. So that was my um, other idea for you. That's cool. You're really good at faux painting, Anne. You're very at good what? at what? At doing full finishes, that full finish, that rust that you did there. Oh, thanks. That's, it's just it's a matter of layering amazing. it on the um, gel plate, really. Yeah, but you got to know the colors and stuff, you know? I mean, like, you, you're just spot on with the colors that you chose. I mean, that's, that's, a, and it's beautiful how you did that. Do you use, use a sponge by any chance, like a seed sponge at all, or? No, I have before. I have in my younger years, yes. But this yeah, is I remember, a I remember those days, the sea sponge. <laughs> yeah. Do like that, yeah. Oh, um, layering stencils too like this stencil went on first and then there's another one and then another one and removing some of the paint periodically helps too yeah that's so beautiful that helps. thank you but yeah so that's what i'm doing is see if i have anything else on my list here that's different Did you put a, a, a finish behind it like some sort of like a a, a um, protective kind of finish at all or on what on that, on that one, that faux, um, that faux rust one you did. Is there like a, a you finish like a finishing like glaze or anything on it or? No, no, I don't, cause it's all acrylic paint. So there's so many layers of paint on there. Yeah, you don't need to then. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really need to. I don't think unless you're going to use it somewhere where it might get wet. Right. Somebody mentioned notebooks too. That's another one you can do with, um, gel prints real easy, and. Um, I don't hear seen it, but some people cover clipboards with them. Huh. So, true. Very true. That's a good idea. I've never seen that. Yeah, and in addition to beads, I found a um I had somewhere I'd gotten for a dollar a die that cuts out kind of like teardrop necklace pieces with a hole in them already. Huh. So I did some of those and put gel prints on them, and those I will seal with some kind of varnish or triple thick or something. Yeah. Um to do that so 
basically you can do almost anything with them. Oh, here's my last one. This is kind of nonsensical, but I like them in my art room. If I can find where I put the dumb thing is you're talking about scraps, not ever getting rid of a scrap. I had a whole bunch of strips of gel prints, just strips. So you just take the strip and glue it onto a good old clothespin. Is that in the picture? Yeah. And it works. all of a sudden you've got an arty piece. You can also put a magnet on one side and then put them on your refrigerator. See, and I paint mine. That's a lot of good ideas. <laughs> I paint some too, but this is fun. I like it because it you, you can have a variety of them and just use them to clip things up. So that's some more ideas for you. If you have an excess of gel prints, you can just create, 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 create and have fun. You almost have me convinced to start saving more trash. <laughs> oh, another one is to print on fabric. That elephant oh, I did last, I do that. Yeah. last month, yeah. I left it on the gel plate and found it this week. And I meant to print that sucker on fabric. And wouldn't you know, I forgot it until I already put the tissue paper on it. Yeah, I do. I do. Use, I use cotton, 100% cotton. Yes, it works really yes. well. And I found Natural a fibers and will wash them. Pre wash them like without a, a flat sheet of goodwill. It's a, it was like a 100% organic cotton, a, a flat sheet like a queen. Uh -huh. I've been tearing. I've been ripping that up into pieces, <laughs> so I can do something with it. But something about the fabric, it just takes the, the paint better. I want to say ink. I'm used to saying ink. The paint um it just has a way of just taking everything you, you print on is going to change it how it comes out you yes know, on the paper and, and fabric is fun now just it, i don't know what it is about that but it just seems like it just really sticks you only have you don't really get a ghost print you know when you do a fabric it, no, all comes it pulls off it off point. it comes in one pull. you do yeah. want to use a natural fiber like cotton or linen or wool right and yeah, they, use cotton. yeah and they should be pre-washed with a clean detergent <laughs> Like not a lot of extra ingredients and no dryer sheets or fabric softener. Oh, that's true. I should probably wash all those. I didn't think mm -hmm. that. Well, because fabric, all fabric has a finish on it. Right. When it comes yeah. New. Well, it's it's a used. I got it. Goodwill is used anyway, but still, okay, I yeah. should still, wash it because yeah. fabric softener. Yeah. Yeah. The fabric softener or dryer sheets will add a film to it that'll reject the absorption of the paint. Right. And then, like, new fabric has a sizing on it, right? Some kind of a yes, sizing or whatever. Yes, it does. And it will also tend, a lot of it will shrink if um, it ever gets wet. Or it will shrink with the paint, and then it will crack like the, um, like, tissue paper creates these lines of crack because it just yeah. buckles. That might be cool. It would be cool. It can look cool, and you can accomplish that by wrinkling your fabric first and then spreading it out on the plate. I like fabric. Oh. I have fabric and I are very good friends. <laughs> I have a fabric issue. Do you? you, you would love oh, my, my fabric. Name, my name is Rebecca and I have a fabric issue. I, I am not a hoarder. I am a collector. No, I'm not a hoarder either. I am the curator of a private collection. And you would love my fabric sample collection. Ooh, the fun. Fabric sample, oh, you would love them. They're a pretty cool collection. In fact, I have too much. But yeah, I've got some beautiful fabric samples that I don't really know what to do with, actually. I'm not a hoarder either. I just have intentions on making my children go crazy when they have to go through my stuff. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, mine know. Mine know full well that they are going to be busy. But some of them have already claimed it. Like, my daughter wants all the silk and the cottons, pretty much. My daughter-in-law wants whatever my daughter doesn't want. So <laughs> I told them they can do whatever they want with it. The girls all get first choice, whatever they want. But please don't let my son-in-law sell it at a garage sale because he'll put a quarter on my $800 spinning wheel. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I taught classes, sewing classes for a while. And I had one that was all, well, older ladies as old as I am now. It was in this, in Mississippi. And one of them all of a sudden raised her hand and said, well, excuse me now, ladies, but I want y'all to raise your right hands right now. I was like, okay. So we did. And she says, now I want y'all to swear. If you see my obituary in that, in the 
paper. I want you to run to my house. Just run, run, run. You break in there if you have to, and you take everything out of my sewing room, and you just have a ball with it. She's because my stupid daughter-in-law just throw it in the yard. You know she will. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That's so funny. <laughs> so, well, I just swear, yes, ma'am, we will do that. <laughs> well, hopefully that's how it went for her. I hope so. But it is true. I know there was one... I, I was in a sewing guild and they said that uh, they got a notice from somebody that a woman had passed away and she had worked in Paris. She was trained in Paris and worked in the New York garment district and in couture houses and she passed wow. away oh my and God. her son was going to throw away all of her fabric. <gasps> wow. and had dumped it into garbage bags and the daughter-in-law came, the daughter came in and said, whoa, 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 no, 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 we're not going to throw it away. I don't care if we have to give it away. Um, oh my gosh. It was like, a storage room probably there were 30 garbage bags in there and she said just take what you want give us a donation it'll be fine yeah yeah at least do that at least donate it you don't i'm going to leave it in my will i'm going just by listening to you guys i'm going to leave all my art supplies in the hands of my uh who beneficiary and they are to give them uh wrap them get everything in box like uh if it fits you ship and uh -huh. make up as many boxes as they can and put a variety in each box and then get online and get all my get all my peeps and send every one of them a box <laughs> yeah i'm starting a list of, of charities that can that want fabric like i do charity sewing and there's lots of them depending on what it is so i'm going to put a list and put it in with my trust papers here you go if you don't want it give it here <laughs> Art supplies, I don't know who to get those to if they don't want them, but we'll see. Yeah, like, there's so much, like, agencies, you know, like, those, like, try to school, like, art school supplies. And children, like, for after-school programs and stuff like that, like, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, maybe, or... Yeah, the five. I mean, they always send it to five. Yeah. There we go. I'll put that in there. Oh, you guys can all, like, y'all raise your right hands and swear like that lady in Mississippi made us do. Yeah, I swear. Okay. I think you promise. Okay. Mm -hmm. All yeah. I'm worried about is that $800 spinning wheel. I want to make sure they get at least $400 for it. You know, my mother had an antique one and it disappeared when she moved, when she, well, she moved in a hurry to live with me and then it disappeared. Just don't let my husband sell my stuff for what I told him I paid it for it. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you on that one. <laughs> My husband doesn't pay attention. I swear it was it. only a dollar. The shipping costs more than, <laughs> I swear. Well, I tell Joe I get, I get all my stuff on sale. It yep. is. Everything's for sale. I just don't tell how much. You should say that. <laughs> Anne's quilts are stunning, Laura. They are, they are. How about if I put everybody up on the screen? And how about if we let the uh, viewing audience, our lovely, lovely supporters here, um, ask questions. Take a look and, and decide who they want to see up close and personal. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any questions or anything? What do you need more of? Oh, Hanina, that that's that's sad when that happens. That really is. We all need to design mm -hmm. something for Kim's cursor because she's losing it. I know. I got it now. We're all here. I know. <laughs> In the future. I know. Oh, I have two screens, right? So I get confused. My cursor just just. Why I, do you do it on two screens? I have to. <laughs> Why Kim, you I know I couldn't do it, so. Why do I Talk have these screens? Uh huh. Because a lot of times I'll have somebody's video up going, and then on the other one, I'll be flipping to Pinterest or whatever while I'm listening, or I'll have an audio book going and um, Pinterest and somebody's stream, like, yeah, it's. But why do you? The better have... question is, why don't you have two screens? Um, because my eyes won't follow it. Oh. Somebody ask what da what is Dana working on? Dana, oh. let's make you big. 
Dana's turn. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. What happened to Marty? I thought she was going to join us today. I've got this little book. Nobody, Marty didn't contact me. Huh. And then I'm going to add all this little stuff that I'm cutting out, which is doodles I just did. Oh, I like that print. So that's what I'm working on. Those are cute. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I doodle a lot. I don't know. I just enjoy before bed. I'll sit and doodle in my book. And it just is you know, makes me relax. Thank you, guys. Dana, are the pages regular copy paper or something heavier? It's cardstock. Okay. About it 90 like pounds. Yeah, it yeah, looked like it had some weight to it. Oh, Dana, those things are so yeah. cute that you're cutting out. It's... Those little doodles are adorable. Yeah, and I do. I doodle like this in book and um dictionary oh, old dictionaries that. because the pages take watercolor good yeah so i'll do that and um and then i'll watercolor them nice. um i decided you know since we were doing this i would do them on on these Dana, and then, show everybody your little index box where you store some of your little uh, oh yeah i'm gonna see that cool. Uh, Show us the goods. <laughs> Here's one of them. <laughs> she keeps so it I have up my, and she gives it out for happy mail. She I have my four by six cards back here. My ATCs here. Oh, nice. And then my smaller um, inches or whatever, twinchies. Or, and then this is just like, these are some things that I did a while back. Um, those are cute. Ooh, love, are those ATCs? They're puzzle, ATCs? They're puzzle pieces. Oh, yeah, those are cool. I love those puzzle pieces, too. Yeah. Oh, those are neat. I was collecting I just, those for a while there. There was swaps. Like there was a of of swaps like that. And yeah. It's super, super cute. So I, these have are the on, I have mine hanging on the wall. And then, um, so yeah, this little box came from scrapbook.com and oh, it's just, it's handy to have, you know, this stuff in here. Um, and then I do a giveaway on my channel and like we roll the dice and um, if they get a six, then I take um, six sticks out of here and it's all color coded. And then, so they'll get you know, um, what, however many out of the colors of stuff that I have in here. Hmm. So. Wow. Those are cool. Did you ever make those, were you ever making those, um, a uh, flat back beads by taking the, um, those pearl beads, you know, that you buy in the, you know, like a big bucket, you put them in the oven and they melt. Oh yes. We Wasn't did that. That? Remember that? that was fun. Huh? Really? Oh, we did that when my sons were little and we made a bowl out of them. That's probably about five, six years ago, I'd say. It was pony beads. Yeah, pony well, beads. In the oven, first... you melt them and they make little, and they turn into like little flat back, little whatever is one called. We got a bunch of beads from, um, and they were the clear see through beads okay. from like Mardi Gras or something oh, before wow. they started giving out the cheap, cheaper beads. And so we took all those and we melted it into a. <laughs> in the oven on a cookie sheet and then wow. when we took it out we hung it over a bowl and oh, it made a bowl yeah. really yeah oh fun. that's cool you have to act really quick before it cools though right we have to be fast yeah, right? yeah. wow that's yeah. such a cool so, do you have it still no i don't that's, even that's know a while ago huh and that was a long time ago <laughs> yeah i gotcha that's cool, that was cool idea. we should bring that back people are doing people doing um little 
what do you call them? Shrinky dinks. Why not do why not do that too? Melt those in there. Yeah. <laughs> the little mini who's a mini pancake ma maker? I forget who is it. Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. people. Jamie oh, was no. doing that. Okay. Jamie and Ann Lar were using the mini pancake makers. Okay. It's yeah. a blast that mini pancake maker. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind doing it, but you know, that's one more thing to keep in my craft room. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> Not enough stuff because I got in, I scrapbook and then I got into doing a little bit of vinyl, but I don't really enjoy it. Um, but I still have all this, I have a heat press and all that crap. Um, yeah, so vinyl, vinyl isn't cricket is vinyl, yeah. Okay, and yeah, then I, I do some that. glass. Um, like my friend got me into doing these glass windows, and oh my gosh. I don't know. So, I'm actually doing resin cutting boards. They're beautiful. Yes, resin cutting boards. Oh wow! I did this. You um, stuff. But I didn't. I haven't crowded this um, yet. But yeah, oh, just, cool. The mosaic with it. Oh, yeah. that's pretty. And then I did Ooh. this. This is resin in the background, and then I added beads and stuff before it dried. So. Huh. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I I get into too much stuff. That's for sure. Wasn't it? Who was? It, who was? It went to that place. And you guys were doing the the fused glass in the kiln. Yeah, me and Beth. That kind of reminds me of fused glass. Yeah, it does. And I I I do want to get. You can get a microwave kiln. Yeah, you can. And so they're I'm small. A, they're very small, but yeah, you, they have one that's um. It's called an extra large, and it'll hold a few more pieces than the small. Yeah, I mean, you have to get the, yeah, the smallest. Like, you can only do, like, small little yeah. bead type. But, stuff. like, I just want to make cabochons, you know, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. I'm not wanting to do anything big, so um, I want to get one of those. Fine. Yeah. And then, dichoric, is it called dichoric glass? The yeah, you have to use CO90 or 96. No, but I'm talking about that glass. It has that really cool, like, um, it's like changes colors. It looks like foil almost. Oh, uh, yeah. The so one that's got, um, yeah. It's, it's like rainbowy. It's like shiny. Yeah. And, yeah that's I think it's called decoric. It yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of fun. So I used, to, I used to have a kiln in my garage. It was a, a big one. Um, huh. A long time ago when I was doing pottery and stuff, but I ended up having to sell it because I moved. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was it was cool though. It was cool to have for a while. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to really get a big, you know, thing. Right. If you're just doing small stuff like that, and they, they sell small kilns too, though. That yeah, are, they do. Don't go in the microwave, you know. That are probably I'd probably get one of those. I think is what I would do now because the, the fused glass is a lot of fun. So yeah, I want to try to do a little bit, and then you can take the, you can actually take the the crushed glass, you know, um, yeah. they call it free yeah. and you can, um, you can actually mold it in your molds. Um, you use a little bit of water and then you put it in the freezer, let it, um, hey, freeze, Barbara. pull it out. And then you, um, you put it in the kiln and it'll hey, keep, the it will so what? it'll keep the shape of your mold. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's kind yeah, of, like yeah, it is. I, I never got that that far into it. I always wanted to do fused glass, but I was using, I was doing, I was taking some ceramics classes at ASU for a while. And when it came to the end of the semester, you had to turn in all these assignments and stuff. People were kind of jealous because they, they have kilns there, of course. But I was able to fire my own stuff in my in my house at my house. So that was really cool. <laughs> that was that was handy. But mostly I've just doing ceramics. I haven't done a lot with glass at all. I've been wanting to forever. Um, I just it's one more thing. I just probably I don't know. <laughs> I just yeah. do some things. It's like I don't know what I even do. It I don't know. They're not cheap. Well, I mean, definitely we can get into too much. So you know, just gotta keep what you really like first. I like lamp work make bead making. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that too. That's a lot of fun. That you can do at home. I have everything I need to do the bead. Is that stuff. where you use the live fire and you roll the glass or the Yeah, oh, you yeah. use like use like map like, gas. Tanya does. It's it. a torch. Use a torch. Basically, it's a torch. 
I haven't yeah. done it since if I it'll, stopped if it'll working. Bee release on the you can use B release so that B comes off so it doesn't like you know attach to the metal rod that you're using to make the hole for the bead. Tanya but McGuire it's just, does it's that. It's so fun because you get the glass the glass rods, and as you're melting it, it's like it's just the coolest thing. It's like it's like taffy almost. It's or it just it just sort of sags, you know, and you, you keep wrapping it around and make your bead. It's kind of like with paper beads while you're using glass sort of. That makes sense, right, Dana? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And you know, Tanya McGuire does that and she sells That's what um, on Facebook here and there. I forgot about that. I haven't done it. Yeah. Do. I haven't done it. I still have a lot of the beads I've made. Yeah. But um, you know, they always say that you need to kiln them afterwards and Well you can what we did when I took a class for that, um I got a at like an art center, you know, like you're doing when you got it. For like adults, it's not it's not a college, but that one in particular was at an art center. And we used a, a crock pot, and we had I forget what that stuff is called. They use for plants, it kind of like absorbs vermiculite. Yeah, we put that in the in the crock pot. So when, as soon as it was done, we stuck it in there, and that's all we ever did with it. I mean, because there are bees, and it's not as fragile uh, cr as critical, I guess. But I never had one break or anything. I've never that either. Way. And some people really say that you know. You have to anneal it. They're not a good bead. If well, you that, that is that is what that is, though. Putting in the crock pot, that's what you're doing with it, though. But but they're talking heat anneal. You know, it's that attitude that, well, if you're not doing it right, you're not doing it at all kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that, and, you know, they're talking about something that if you're doing, like, bigger pieces, like, you know, like a vase or something, then, yeah, you would want to use a kiln. But for a little bit. That's the attitude that little, keeps so many people from creating that I wish would just go away. It can, I agree. <laughs> I mean, I took a class, too, so I feel like I can say that and be legit when I'm saying that. I, I if I'm like not that. selling it, then it doesn't matter what I do, you know. But I never had one break at all, though. That, and that never, that never happened. Well, and I we never take it out. We would take it out till the next day. We left it in there for overnight. Like we left it in there a while too. Well, you know, I never did day. mine any more than the vermiculite in the crock pot either. Yes, yes, and you my, can buy, yes. My you my sister, that. I made her one yep. in black and red for their school. She was going down the slipper slide with her granddaughter caught, caught it and all those beads rolled down the slipper slide into the sand and not a single one broke yeah exactly so it is it you know i because we're talking beads you know what i mean i wouldn't sell them without annealing them proper in a kiln because um i don't want to be i wouldn't want to have to remake something but that being said I've never had one break and I find they're quite, quite, um, strong. So yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do it anymore. I have all the stuff. I have the mandrels, the bead release. I have yep. grit. There you I go. Have, and, um, enamel, but yeah. it's not something I want to do. I want to oh, do it. I, I, I don't want to do, wanna I do it. Stuff, <laughs> I just love the, I just love melting the glass. There's something about melting that glass and turning into like a liquid and stuff. I just think it's the coolest thing. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just think it's so cool. <laughs> I just, I just like breaking glass. I love the sound of breaking glass. Yeah, but melting it is fun too, though. It's a lot of fun. Playing with it. fire is fun regardless. Playing with fire. I have to play with fire. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I haven't done it in a while. I did about uh, two years ago. I started making a few. And I was very, I was very intimidated by that, by that torch. It had been a while since I made any. It's been quite a while. And I was like trying to remember exactly like how to do it and how you turn it and you do it not too fast because it will break as you make it. You have to like, there's, you know, as you know, Gene, as you're making it, there's a certain point where you have to keep it hot all the time. We want to attach another color, yeah. right? You have to heat that first, like kind of in the flame. That part is the part you have to learn from somebody. That you have to learn. That, that's not like, somebody needs to show you how to do that part. Seriously though, that, yeah. Um, so it will crack when you make it. If you don't do that, it will crack and kind of just fall off, which I had that happen. <laughs> that did happen. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh... All right. Who would like to go big? Who would like, if, if anybody in the, uh, who's watching would like somebody to go big, please put her in, put the, and, uh, Oh, thanks, Pam. 
Pam says it's an awesome vlog. Couldn't do it without these lovely ladies who are here to play today. Everybody has such distinctive Hi, Pam. Hi, Linda. I'm yeah. sidetracked. I've totally sidetracked. I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one with ADD in this group, apparently. <laughs> I, uh, I can go. Okay, let's make Miriam live and big. Here we go. I just have to find you in the list. Sorry. There we go. I have a question. Oh, sure. She's got my name in caps right there. So let me throw this away and close this because this is you be dressing. Oh, that's so, really coming along. That was pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. What I did. They're is so organic. I love the organic shapes of them. Oh, thank you. So the thing is, I put this on and it put some UV light on the pieces. I am going to put them like this mm -hmm. so I can see what I do. Oh, well, you're using resin, okay. Yes, I am using UV resin. I love it because you put Another this thing, thing that it's a UV light. It's the same that you use for your nails. And then, uh, of course, I need to do it a little bit more. But this is the result. Like something like that ends like that. Wow. What I really, what you need to, to do is more than one layer. So it will be, um, first of all, could have that you don't have everywhere because you cannot see because it's transparent. The only way to see and I cannot put my camera inside with this. Let's try. Let's try. Oh. Are those for jewelry pieces? Is that why you have the holes? Is to maybe attach like wires or chain from it? Or what do you yes. do? Yes. Okay. Uh, these ones that I I did more could be embellishment. Oh, sparkly. sparkly. Or shiny. Or could, could be also to put some dangling here what so did you use have... for your metallic what metallic colors did you use was that what metallic um was that, that paint? is this it's paint okay i did prepare these ones because i i thought i am going to use so i wanted to show you that oh. it's a, it's a possibility to, sh to put some oh, okay and the thing is that overall no, no matter what you do, I rub it with my fingers. I put in here the paint, and then I rub it with my fingers. So it's not everywhere. But I really love this one. This one is a piece of clay that you can do it the same with paper. I, I did with paper as uh, Jen Peter did. Oh, cool. Uh, I did that. The same thing with paper is the same. You put more than one layer. You put uh, the glue in, the, in, in, in every one of them. You can uh, punch it if you want to do it round. And then you sand it. And you can do like slightly less, like a, a little, little, little one, the same the same shape and then you will have when you sand it of course you need a lot of layers but when you sand it it's like round oh wow it's very pretty but it's a lot of work wow. so what i did here i am going to show you because it's about to end so i'm going to show you one, one that i think need a little bit more work so I open it only by the time I need, and I close it before I use it. Huh. And you put something inside. It had a, a, a point, like you can, I, I'm going to show you, but uh, I, I prefer with that use things that are really, uh, that I can throw them out. So, so what is that put, stuff right there you're putting on there? What is that? This, 
This yes. is the UV resin. Oh, that's the resin in there. Okay. Yes. So you put it in here. This one needs to cure more. This one, it's okay. Oh, okay. I bet you it takes a long time. There's many, many layers yeah. of that resin, isn't there? Not a lot. Uh, first of all, if you have a place where there is no resin, you are going to see with the UV light uh -huh. because it's it's going to shine different where you have less and where you have more. Really? That gives you uh, the, 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 the key that you need to go over again. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, but uh, you see, I just i i can touch it already it's a little bit like preferably i cure them many times because these have 120 seconds bye brenda have a good day so yeah and i have some of my beads first of all because i really use them a lot when i do journals or art books or something like that i use them a lot so i don't have a lot now here i made from magazines from books i made this i made it only in the like i have one one uh, sheet like that and i only paint here and in the middle like lines only where i'm going to cut or i paint after that so you start here you cut them you start here to roll and when you arrive here everything will cover around so you don't need to do everywhere yeah and I have here something that is very for jewelry. This is CD. Um, I think I have another one here. Yes. This is all CD. So, yeah. If you haven't watched Miriam's live, you should, the depth of her artistic knowledge and ability is awe-inspiring. Yeah. Thank you. She does you. so many different things and just comes from a long line of artists. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's wow. right. And, and there is a continuation because uh, at least my granddaughter is my kids i have one that it's a teacher art teacher and i have maxi that it's really good at art and we used to art to, to do things together like not together together sometimes yes but i do mine he does in the other corner another thing and after a while uh, we start to talk about it if it uh, it's uh, complete or not and how how it was and yeah and i do experimentation too yes. this is the same clay that i use here and i started to do something like to put things this is will be a basket maybe but i try to learn in order to do a purse so i want to do a purse and i think i can do it like this like i have some tappers that i like uh, are, you doing, is it, are you doing a coiled uh, a coiled bowl like coil uh, clay coil? What, kind of, what kind of clay is that you're using uh, what are you talking about? Sorry. What, what kind of clay are you using for that coil um yeah. What? This is on soft clay. You can find it in Amazon, but you can find it also, that's what I did, in your local store as a clay for kids. I will show you in a minute. What is it paper clay or air dry clay? It's an air dry clay. Okay. Air dry. This 
Yeah, I, I a dry clay is this super light clay. That really came out awesome. I love that dragon. It's so cool. Oh, yes. This is my dragon. That's really awesome. Thank you. And it's made, that was an experimentation too. Because what I wanted to do is a mask. Like, not with paper or cardboard uh, in the back. But I thought I can use the paper, the, sorry, the soft clay to do all the pieces. Yeah. And yeah. I use the styrofoam head as Anne has now. Right. And I put some uh, nylons and uh, some film. And then I use it with some uh, cardboard. I made this part. And everything uh, in order to do that. And after it was uh, dry, I take it out and I started to paint and other things. So now I want to do purses. Purses? Purses, yes. Really? I, yeah. Interesting. I will see. I had the same idea with Paul in, in the time that I was uh, really doing things with polymer clay and I, I never did it. So now that I am playing with this uh, soft clay, the soft clay have two, uh, like uh, this one is a little bit dry, but first of all, it's really easy to use because it's like plastilina, but no, it's like play doh, but no, <laughs> like play doh. <laughs> yeah, no. like uh, let's say the sensation of your, on your hand is it like fluffy, it's kind of a fluffy thing, and it's sort of a fluffy, yes, that's it. it's yeah. fluffy, mm -hmm. it's not a Stain, it's not, like, it's not it's, sticky like that. Like yeah, it's yeah. not sticky. It's, it's more. It's really more uh, clean. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not toxic. So it's you can do it with kids. It's non-toxic, and when it dries, it don't dry like this one. For instance, is a magnet. I have a magnet here, so you can put it. I I put it in a. In, in my tin like that, you can put it in your fridge, and it's all made with this clay. And when you when it's dry, this is really dry. I did it a uh, very month ago, but still have some like it's not hard. And if you let that fall. It's not break. So it's yeah, very sure. I, I, I like it because all of that. And I buy like uh, buckets like this in many colors and I do things. <laughs> You're having fun, it sounds like. Yes. Well yes. then you kind of found your groove there. Mm -hmm. You're a sculptor. Yeah. Among other things. Among <laughs> <laughs> other things. Yeah. I it's something I was raised by an artist in an artistic environment. Okay. I started to work in my father's studio oh, at nice. age eight doing prints. So okay. I'd really work, not a. So your, your, your father was a printer? My father was an artist that made his living with his art in a very, very, like, um, in, a, in a way that he could do it, like, not compromise a lot the artistic part, but do something that he could really uh, massively sell. So he had uh, screen printers. Nice. And uh, that's what the first thing in printing that I learned. Cool. Uh, we gotta do some still, we gotta do some still screen printing then sometime together. We should do. Um, yeah. Brenda has a question. 
Does the air dry clay shrink when it dries? Uh, it's not something that it's uh, really maybe, but you don't. You it's so so uh, minimal that you don't really notice. Out. You don't notice. Yeah, yeah, you would never see the shrinkage. I haven't found any. Yeah. Um, All right. All right. Well, we have been asked if Jasper could go big, so let's make Jasper big. Okay. Here you go, Jasper. I'm kind of just working on this journal. I, I'm finding pa uh, papers, painting papers, put on the inside cover of this. I'm just trimming down the outside edges of it. To, I thought it looked good with the cover. This this uh, rice paper is pretty strong paper, isn't it? I mean, like it doesn't just tear very easily. At least this stuff doesn't. I don't know. It's got a lot of fibers in it. I'm not struggling with it there. Okay. Can you anyway, just move up just a little bit, Jasper, please? Yeah. There we go. There so go. um I found this I found this print right here and I decided to put and put half of it on the inside of this cover. This is a this is from a um a flat rate box. I think it's a small priority flat weight flat rate box that I used here. So that's the size of it. But so I'm just putting stuff inside here. Was it Brenda that asked? Oh there's Brenda. Brenda, was there a question you have for me? No, that was the question for um, Miriam. Belinda wanted to see what you were up to. So I'm just kind of like going through and kind of deciding where to put different papers in here and stuff. Um, but for, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been mostly watching everybody else. <laughs> but for to a large extent, like when someone's, you know, like Jean and Miriam and Becca and Dana and Beth, I kind of, I, I find myself watching them a lot more than actually working. Me so too. That's, <laughs> I'm just saying, so I, I you know, because I'm just enjoying just watching what everyone else is doing too, you know. Here's some handmade paper that I made. I'll show you a bucket of handmade paper I made. So all this handmade paper I made, you guys, look how much I've made. A ton of it. That's awesome. I mean, and it's different, you know, and it's different thicknesses and stuff. Um, but that's, I thought I'd show you that because I'm going to use some of that in this journal right here. And I, I'm going to print on it too. There's someone I would print on because it's pretty smooth. It have some smooth pieces in here. They'd be, I think, be pretty good to print on. But that's another day, another dollar. Anyway. Um, so sorry, can, Beth, Beth has to leave. So can we just pop to Beth really yeah. quick to say goodbye? Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Beth, are you still here? Okay, Beth, here you go. Your last couple of minutes, Beth, you're still on before you leave. Yeah, see, see you. Beth, you're muted, hon. I'm sorry, I forgot I muted. I was drying. But uh, my three hours is up, and that's about all I can stand sitting okay. on a stool. Right. <laughs> so, so uh, but I really, really love my my new Happy Mail book. That's and, beautiful. And uh, it, it, it turned out great. Wow, that's I, beautiful. I took the, um, the painting papers on the inside, and, I, and they have that strip of uh, fabric on them, and then I left one strip open on the back, and I glued them in, and there's five signatures. Awesome. So each signature, I think, has four uh, pieces of paper, and uh, I just I just bundled them up and glued them together, and glued them down in the book. And I'm going to have to leave it up like this so that the spine, the the fabrics on the end of the spine, will uh, dry. And uh, and I can I can always go back and and uh, touch it up too if if something comes apart. Like right here, this keeps coming up. So I can go back and, and keep and glue that back down. So, uh, but I just, I really love the book. I'm going to be using it with, uh, with Happy Meals. And I, beautiful. I, my intentions are to maybe do some art pages and like this with Happy Mail and, uh, and do a little, it's art journaling with Happy Mail. Yeah. And it's kind of like the pronto prompts that we do oh, in our cool. group. And it's, this, this has like, three three things it's or four things there's a background page uh some some happy mail back there that I is so something cool. over here <laughs> that's so cool words and then a, and then a, and then a vocal point from the nice. uh, from the magazine but uh you can just do anything with your painting papers it's so fun to do and uh, so i'm looking forward to do some more artwork in my new book so 
here's some of my painting papers and art papers that I've made this um, summer. A lot of these were made last month. And, uh, and, uh, and I just, like I said, I didn't, the only way I glued it in is with fabric. I put fabric on the hedge and made a hinge on okay. the edge and then i glued the other edge down and so they're hinged and they open up flat okay. so i can glue all the way to the edge to the center without any problems they open up they all open up flat what kind of fabric so, are you what kind of fabric are you using for the hinges this is just a, some muslin that i okay. had uh just a ecru okay. uh off-white muslin cotton okay. and uh, i ripped it to to these size of strips and I put half to the page and half to the book. And it just, they just went together wonderfully. And I've got to go back and glue a few more things, but that's okay. I can still oh, do that. That's a neat idea. So thanks, guys, for having me on. Thank you, oh, Kim, for your much, hostess yeah. with the mostest. You're the hostess. And <laughs> I'll, I'm going to switch over to chat. I'll be over in chat next. Oh, next. Okay. Bye. Thanks so much for playing, Beth. I really appreciate it. And I've been inspired by what you do. And I'm sure others have also been inspired from this. Great work in such so, a fast amount, well, short amount of so time. Much. But yes, it has been three hours. How are you ladies holding up? Do you want to uh, continue or do you want to um, what, uh, continue? or show what we're done and shut down for the day. Yeah. How are you guys feeling, Mike? I'm good. I mean, I'm open. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not doing anything else. Ah! I mean, I'm, I'm fine with staying on. Tech is not answering. I'm very busy doing things. I cannot answer you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miriam, you make me laugh. I think I'm about ready to call it. Yeah. I was wondering how you were feeling today. I was going to yeah. message and ask. Yeah. I am finishing three necklaces. <sighs> right. Okay, I'm going to make Jean big so she can just show the quick last bit of what she's doing if she's heading out. Yeah, I've already started straightening up. After a while, the, the mess just drives me crazy. It's not that I'm a picky person. Um, I know that if Laura's still in there, she may argue with you, but I just don't like the mess very long and I can't handle that. I got to organize it just a little bit. I mean, all I got to do is one page and it'll all be messed up again, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> so I found some words. I have a whole book of these and I, I don't know where it was, but there's happened to be a couple pages in my little scrap box. Um, I'm kind of kind of uh, picky. I don't like saving scraps. I have Kim's working on me on that one. No, um, I'm not. <laughs> this little box had Arteza markers in it, and I collaged the top of it with painting papers. But this is my little bit of painting papers, and oh, this nice. is all I can have. Is this? So oh, I cool. just happened to get lucky and found a couple things with words. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I have more than that laying on the floor around me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> me too. I couldn't do that. <laughs> well, a lot of what hits the floor goes in the trash because I don't sweep it very frequently. And my grandkids love it because they know they can make a mess and leave it. And grandma's okay with that yeah and so anyway this is what i've done so far there's no rhyme or reason um you know it's not one of these journals you could i suppose if you wanted to write little thoughts on there you could yeah. um that's not my intentions but you know and so i found a few little focal points i've added in places i, I like so, the black and white stripes in there you know, that's something I've always done too, is is um, I got to put black and white in everything. It and just it makes cool. everything pop. It kind of doesn't. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So I've, I've really got more done than I thought I would. I mean, I, I did 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. Oh, wow. Wow. That's wow. good for me. Two more, and I would have made it halfway through. So That's um, awesome. You know, what was just sitting around here because I wanted to make the book. I had no idea. I just wanted to make that book. I, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. And um, I didn't know if I'd ever do anything else in it or not. So I'm glad that this is what I thought of to do yeah. today because I will finish it now. I need to make some more things stick out the top. I just realized that we only have a couple. So I got to do that because, you know, the mess here, the edges are the better. <laughs> Well, that looks really cool. So, yeah, this is going to have to come off. This is really bothering me. Anyone mm -hmm. that watches me do my chunky books, that reminds me so much of my chunky books. And I'm getting some more ideas from. Oh, cool. Becca, I am so addicted to those darn chunky books. The sound of them. They have to sound <laughs> Aren't they way. just wonderful? Uh, that's my favorite part is the sound. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> I've I've uh, been copying your chunky books as well because I love them. Well, you except mine are really rude. Yours are rude. Is that yeah. what you said? Oh and no! I've got rude books. They're they're my rude books. Are they, they like, are rude? Are they like my naked people? You mean no, like snarky? They're snarky, rude, but all kinds oh, cool. of cool. You know, I think we should all have one of those. We could just kind of like just. Say cuss words and whatever. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Like that's definitely what. Not everything has to all be rainbows and. Oh yeah, you know, I'm not a rainbow kind of person. No, I it. have a lot of trouble with that because my um, almost 15 year old grandson and my 10 year old granddaughter have free reign of the art room, and um, I know they know, you know, the words. You know, they hear them at they, home. They know more than we do. <laughs> I just don't want. I just don't want them to know Grandma my use. Of, you know? <laughs> my grandkids all know that I use them. I think like most they, of my they, they, since they were born. But you most of my mother swear words on, so I can't say anything, right? My <laughs> grandkids my probably learned their first young. curse word from me. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a true thing. <laughs> In Fine fact, way. my granddaughter, um, one of her first days in school, I don't know what, what grade, she's in fourth grade this year, she, uh, they were talking about words you can't use, and she held her hand up, and they called on her, and she says, my daddy says cuss words all the time. <laughs> A lot of parents get outed in, in the classrooms, don't they? They do. <laughs> Uh, but you know it, it's kind of funny i love them being in here even on easter they came in and played Let's see. Um, they um the uh, the two the two youngest are just two years old so they're not coming in here. And, but the um other one is uh, he's ready to get his turn in here but he can only come in if he's with his sister so that she can get you know what he can touch and what he can't touch. But what's really strange is that they don't mess with things they know they can't. They come and ask me which scissors to use. The best thing my grandson ever said to me was, he came in the living room where I was and he says, Grandma, I need a pair of scissors. Could you come show me which ones I can use that's not your fabric scissors? Wow, you turned him good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Can we borrow him? <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty good kid. But um, yeah, and my kids, my daughter's first response when her son started using stuff, she said, you never let us use the good stuff. I said, yeah, I couldn't afford to replace it then either. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so anyway this is this this will actually get finished awesome yeah oh um, i don't know when but it will get finished it'll get finished yeah i just need more time that's all there is to it. 
Okay, Anina, thank you very much for coming. Take care. I hope your cold gets better very soon, hon. Bye. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, and okay. um, I'll see you all later. Thanks, Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye, Thanks, Jean. Jean. Bye bye. Bye, Jean. All right. All right. So there's six of us left. And can we hey. see what, how you're doing? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I want to see. Let's see how Anne's doing. Oh, that hand is looking really awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's creepy now. Oh. Now yeah. I'm trying to decide. It's not quite there yet. But it's <laughs> I love it. I don't yeah. know what it needs. Anybody have an opinion? It needs something. Long red nails. Like creepy point. Long. Creepy nails? nails? Yeah. Oh. I tried adding some of the copper foil to them, but maybe it needs more. It does have fingernails, but they're not long. Yeah. But it's almost, I mean, that's a lot to get done. What about, a, what about a sleeve or a sleeve or like a, you know, like a cool sleeve? Oh, that's an idea. Yeah. yeah. Something um, on the bottom. You, yeah, you can like, have like a, a long sleeve. sleeve bottle and do fake nails. And then you embellish that plastic bottle. Do what now? You could have a plastic bottle cut on it because it has a little a, a curvature. It will be good to do fake nails. Oh. Then you glue them and you embellish them. That's a good idea, Miriam. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I love how you like to upcycle things. Upcycling, you know, yes. water bottle water bottles yes. and stuff is cool. Oh yeah. Definitely. definitely. So. Brenda just uh shared a story about when she was subbing uh, kindergarten class. She was reading a book. The characters were rabbits. A cute five year old volunteered. Mom and dad were effing like bunnies. I almost passed oh. up, she says. Oh no <laughs> way. <laughs> what? That, oh that was kindergarten? Goodness. Yeah. That, that, she, uh, she had to have heard that at home somewhere. I was going to oh, say, yeah. she overheard somebody saying that. Yeah. <laughs> they just tell everything. They do. They really do. And they do it so innocently. And it's yeah. just, what can you say? Sometimes yeah. you forget they're there, you know? It's perfect. You know, it really is. Oh, that's too funny. All right. I'm going to share this one. This is one of my rude books. I have a couple of them, but this is the sound. If you guys don't know the sound of Becca's book, this is the sound. Wow. <laughs> is that from the from the, the matte medium? Uh, I used Mod Podge. And okay. because I was a spaz, I... I clamped them because they were warped right and so some of the pages stuck together but um so some of the pages are a little scuffed but not too too bad i put it together anyway that is cool. Page yeah, made out of i've had that happen too and you, do, you just put it back together and you just call you still you just keep going with it yeah that, that's your snark one Kim? this is one of my rude books can you read, read some of them to us i want to know what they say um <laughs> careful what you ask for. <laughs> yeah. What manner of effery is this? <laughs> I'm not effing stupid. I used to be, but we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> what are the pages that, made that out, out of? Loud chuckle out of Miriam. <laughs> Pardon what? <laughs> I got a loud chuckle out of Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kim, what's the well substrate with... for the pages? That is a cereal box. Um, and then I think oh, it. I use it for playing cards. Yeah. Cool. And I've also used uh, uh, the circles, the, the cup. What are they called? Coasters from like restaurants. Oh, okay. Oh. See, we don't get those here. Not oh, the restaurants yeah, I go to. You don't see them that much anymore either. It, that's kind of a yeah. I was I was collecting those for a while. I don't know where they all are, but yeah. I have blank playing cards, so that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, I have playing cards too, but you know. There's like a layering system I I, I have, but they, it all just works. It just, just layer, lots of layers, which, yes. which, you know. Lots of layers with stuff between. So <laughs> fresh out of Fs, don't F and bark if you can't F and bite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, row, row, row your boat the F away from me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I collect these. Uh, I did not do the momism book yet. You know, I got sidetracked. There are so many darn squirrels in this basement. I just don't get it. I Kim, I love the colors you did that. I mean, those color, that color combination you chose for that book is so awesome. All the way through. Mean? It's really cool. And what are you making over there, Kim? What am I making where? On that board. It looks like you got little umbrellas or something. Going oh, on. those are the I, those are the bits I've cut out of the uh, gel print. Yeah, we, haven't seen, we haven't seen you. You show us what you've been doing this whole time. I did my little fish. <laughs> cool. I did my Goonie bird. I did oh, wow. flowers. I did a frame with flowers on. Oh, those flowers are pretty. Um, more flowers, leaves, umbrellas, brains. That's nice. This is this is what I use my gel print for. Brains. Oh, brains. Brains. Frames. Oh, frames. I was like, oh, okay. Now I'm, I'm, I gotta see the brains. When you were doing those birds with the frames and the eyeglasses, it was so funny, but it turned out so cute. Oh yeah. And those little eyeglasses right there. Those little. Yeah. Eye, yeah. I those like making the eyeglasses. I like putting them on things. I love that, that was so cute with that day you did that. The um frames actually, if you take like a word search book or something, yeah. Um, this isn't a word search book, but a lot of times the circles will just fit perfectly over the letters. So oh cute. Okay. You know, it, it's yeah. not really, really just something different. Perfect. Kim, share with them how you get your eyeballs. My eyeballs? Isn't that what you, the, the Costco the, thing? Oh, the, yeah. Um, I used Costco uh, flyers, flyers for my guinea bird. So I use, those are the only real flyers and things I use, like the, of the dollars. I can't buy for the cop one here. I just used it. You know, you know how I roll. <laughs> I put it someplace. Oh, yeah, Costco flyers. I used and I explained to him with her. Or um, questions from seven. The eyes for all my guinea we birds. Play or ignoring uh, the with cookies, like two O's. <laughs> That's what I use for the eyes on all my guinea birds. Other things I'm not as happy about, but for some reason I really like using. Um, you like fussy cutting, huh? Yeah, I like, I like fussy cutting too. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the O's though are really the only thing I fussy cut. Oh, or I I did fussy cut some flowers. What the heck were we making, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, Friday on my stream, we were doing those envelopes. That was right here too. I don't know where that went, but I did fussy cut some of my fan trashy flowers out. Um, to decorate that with, let me just grab a page of flowers and because this also is what I use my gel prints for. Because I save all the little scraps, right? Yeah, all the little scraps. So I make fan crashy flowers out of them. Oh, so pretty! Wow, so. I like coming here just because oh, you guys inspire oh, me. Kim, those are so hands. cool. I love those flowers. Those are so, so cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love those. And that was with watercolor? No, that's uh, gel prints. And then I shave them. I just chop out a shape. Um, oh, you, those are cut out and pasted on a piece of white paper? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. So that's well, like. Zane, are you still here? I'm here. 
That's like you know, Google. Have you thought about doing like a digi digital print of those people could like buy buy a digital uh, I do have they I do have those on my Etsy store. Okay. I'll have to go check it out. You should put the we should put the um the link to her it's on my screen. Somebody could do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, on it's screen. right there on the screen. <laughs> Where? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, you can, well, you can, it's on the screen, but you can't. I'm seeing one you can click on. If it's in the if it's in the chat, you can click on it instead of oh, yeah. yeah. So um, there's these and my flutters and my robots are there. Mm -hmm. And my masks. And mm -hmm. Beth says that she needs a copy of that flower page. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, me too. I'll try it and send it. And <laughs> then I've got like uh, digitals of some of my cards on there as well. Go to etsy.ca shop Kim Bay Bits and More. Kim 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 yeah, because of my. I, or just like, type in when you go to Etsy, just type in Kim B. Bits and more. I wonder if that comes up on American. It does. The Canadian one will. Anyone know? I don't know. Somebody type that in Kim B. Bits and more in Etsy. Don't make me do it. Here I go. I'm doing it. <laughs> I just have to find my. Yeah. It's faster if I just do it. I'll just do it myself. Found eBay. Is it right that thing? Yeah. There it is. Gosh. Okay. See, I told you guys could have found it faster. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, I have you here already. You're the owner. Hey, Kim, guess what? You're the owner. Gee, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> you just can put in the Kim B bits and more, and it comes straight up. Well, thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh, how is shown it on the screen? Oh, not on the screen. Okay, who wants to come up big here? Hi, Jen. If I can do it, because it's very late for me, I okay. had two dreams today. <laughs> okay. That's right, you did. I did mine and this, <laughs> yeah. All right, you're big, hun. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, I first oh, look at I wanted to chain. show you my oh, yeah. finished chivalry. Like, uh, you can put, this one is a fake. It's not, uh, <laughs> but this is okay. You put some uh, rings and some. Oh, wow. Those are cool. I really like, like those, Miriam. They're they, beautiful. Wow. Miriam, they look like treasure from a, like a Spanish galleon or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the organic, organic yeah. Thing. That one is so cool. I love that one. They They're are awesome. Yeah. Of course. I love, I love that one too. Love it. These need a little bit more. Uh, Are you selling these, Miriam? Are they for sale? No, I can send you if you want. Well, I'll buy one. I want the I want the one that you that smaller with the holes in it. Oh, this one? No, the one you just the one you held up the second one before. It's got green, pink, and yellow. It looks like. Oh, ah, this. I, I want to see all of them. Yeah, that one. Oops, no. Nope. Okay, it's yours. No, the, no, the other one. The other one, but that, uh, nope, Please. I like them all, but that's pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> They're all really pretty. And Let so you were doing a sand, you said you do sanding or something to sand them or something like that? I didn't sand it because I didn't have the time here to do it. It needs also a little sanding and little more that the, the resin but you the can little, see the little round ones are cute too though this is my favorite because the paper it's only one paper and it's wrinkled and this uh, part that it's raised that uh, I, I love it oh that one is amazing yes. Yes. Oh, it really is. amazing okay. take a picture of a snapshot Send me a picture, this picture with the one that you won't see to it, and I will send you. Wow. And I wanted to show you something. 
That is, I use, I don't have, I don't use uh, eat cereal. I don't have many things that have cardboard, but this one, yes, this is chocolate. This is, we use for, uh, four of these in a week, so I have a lot of them. And I made this book that I need. This is for sending out because it's, it was a giveaway. This, this is cardstock. But oh, look all, at that. These, That's cute. all of these are the boxes. Oh, so look you at can this, you guys. Oh, oh look at that. Wow, those colors are fabulous. And oh, that, and everything. And those like pockets, like these pages of pocket, it looks like. For, ta for a tag. Yeah. Oh, for a tag. Oh, wow. Yeah. To oh, do I that. See it. I see it now. Okay. Yes. Oh, to do so that, cool that, I first open it like this. Like, let's say this is one. I open it complete, but carefully. And she's got that gusset on every single one, so it holds a lot of stuff. That's smart. Okay, let's be. That's from the candy oh. from the candy boxes, I guess, right? The candy yes, boxes? yes. Okay. It's chocolate. Yes, okay. chocolate bar. Yeah, so, it's a really good gusset for your pages, too, which is awesome. What I did, it's inside is white, so I, did, I print, I gel print this. Like no, not no. paper that I put on it, but I I use it as paper to gel print. Right on, more yeah. upcycling. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. Then I paint some uh, carrot people or whatever you want. Yeah. I did some stenciling with a uh, stencil butter, so it have texture. I haven't tried stencil butter yet. I'm gonna try that one. Yeah. And then. I did, after I did that, I put that without uh, closing because if you close, you cannot use that to do the binding. Oh, okay. Oh, so right. I, you have to, right. That's right. I put this on the, um, on this part. You see, it's yeah, yeah. all of this. And okay. after I, I saw it, right. then I did glue it again. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. So and then, yeah. and then close it after you've got it through the. And you line. have this like that. You see. Yep. That's Everyone. so cool. I want. I bet so that chocolate. I, I love to have that chocolate too. That <laughs> 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 chocolate is like dark chocolate. I'm just curious. Dark, that dark chocolate. chocolate because it's the only one that uh, goes with the keto diet, and I need to find the one. That it's eighty five percent, and mm. uh, had the the less amount of carbohydrate that we have. Oh. Yeah. I eat two pieces, like come in cubes. I eat two, two cubes at night. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh, for thank you for coming, Miriam. Thank you. All of you, my faves, because uh, the ones in this stream and the ones in the chat, because uh, I think it's beautiful. It's something so, so good, so inspiring to be among things and artists. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Yes, thanks. Those came out beautiful. Thank you, Miriam. Bye, Miriam. Stay safe. Folks, you can... Another way to use your gel prints. That's cool. Take care, Miriam. See you soon, honey. Bye. 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 How cool is that? Those That's are gorgeous. Awesome. Yes. Oh, Miriam's amazing. She is. She's <laughs> yeah. an incredible, she, incredible. She thinks outside the box. That's for sure. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There isn't even a box near Miriam. <laughs> 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 right? Uh oh. Did we lose uh, Dana again? Did she say goodbye or did she just disappear on us? I don't know. She was kidnapped. Her computer by has its own little mind. <laughs> wow. Well, she takes down and reads parts on her, and so she might have skedaddled. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. And let's uh, 
let's wind up, guys. I'm going to show each and every one of you what you've uh, been creating throughout. And if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask while we're still here. Okay. Jasper, you're big. Jasper? Okay. Hi. <laughs> There's a lag. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm making a cluster for the cover of this journal here. I have some, like, I need to find the right kind of glue. I'm going to probably have to sew it, actually. This, I cut this little butterfly out of some, like, long piece of butterfly lace kind of stuff. And just some little scraps right here. So I thought this kind of looked cute here. And I thought, well, I have this also. I thought maybe using that. But so I'm just kind of, like, looking at the cover and looking at some stuff to add to this area and for closure. And doing mm -hmm. that. And then I added um, this paper I made. I did this actually this print i actually had gessoed a piece of paper first and when the gesso was still wet if you can see the texture in that see where the yeah. paintbrush did that like that writing that like robin does you know she just kind of writes real fast it doesn't really say anything but it's like writing does that make sense but anyway, it's in the gesso if you can see it and then I, then I printed over the top of it so it came out kind of cool so i put that on the front and then on the inside mm -hmm. of the back in here too and That's a lovely this, piece of paper. What else did I do? This is him. Oh, this is him. My paper that I made. And look at how when you paint on it, it looks kind of cool, right? This was meant for to go into my 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 scavenger hunt journal, which I, every year I try. You know, every year I, I do do most of it, but find myself if I can't find something, I, I'm like, well, like there was something I didn't have, but but I do like doing it. Um, so this has just been kind of working in here, adding some stuff like that. I think I did a few little things on some ATCs here. Um, let's see what. Here's a few ATCs that I made. Some Sorrel cactus. These are um, actually this. This here is the is the layer is the uh, sorry the bottom layer is this and then I had some like cut out in my scraps over there. Um, I glued those onto there. Um, the thing about ATCs though is you have to stay within that size. I'm always wanting to push. The, I'm just always wanting to put something in the corner. I don't know what it is why I do that. I'm always like. Oh, but just need something in the corner, but then it's not really the right size. You know what I mean? That's no longer like that three and a half by two and a half size. And some people they do it anyway, as long as it fits in like a sleeve, I guess. But I feel like it needs something else, and I haven't decided yet what I want to do with that. I I'm not sure. Um, then there was oh, here's one I did. I added a napkin to again, same same background. I added a napkin to this one. I did that. This is a, a can't really see it's a tissue napkin it's a little girl but it's really faint and i don't know i'm not sure i might go back and maybe i can darken it with some pencil um but i was watching a lot what everybody was doing and this was a lot of fun so many good ideas and stuff you guys thank you for sharing all of your stuff this is fun i can't wait to do it again next sunday or the next sunday we do it <laughs> so whatever whenever that is i guess one sunday a month right kim Pardon? Yeah, the first Sunday, Sunday of the month, month unless folks want to do it two Sundays a month. But Yeah, um, I would do it two Sundays for, a month. I would do it every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, you know, we're just doing the one Sunday a month. Um, next month, like I say, it's going to be a bling-a-thon. And so you're going to be using bling your way for, okay. you know, inspiration for others. So, yeah. I'm going to try those paper beads. I'm going to do that. Yeah, the beads are very cool. Very, very cool. I, I made some too, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I've got so many beads. What's the beads people ever? Okay. I, I, I have a bead collection that Gina, I'm not sure which of us has more beads, but. Yeah, I, right. like make, I like making jewelry. I like making wrap bracelets. This is not, this one is just a single wrap yeah. bracelet that, that I made. I like doing a lot of them. Um, I'll do this one's just wrapped, and I did like the ladder stitch on it. Right. Uh, this one is got macrame on it, and I added some little beads to the end. It's a lot of. I do enjoy making bracelets. That's kind of something that's. We find, I'm, I want to do that. In fact, I'm going to do jewelry on the next Sunday thing we're doing with the bling. I'm going to be doing jewelry that day. I decided that. Jen says we should do this every Sunday, guys. I think so too. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you up, hun. Oh, okay. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. <laughs> and we have one layer done on the hand. Oh, he's beautiful. He's all covered. 
You see him? I can't yes. tell my camera is. No, I can't really. It needs to come closer to your right. Look at that. Oh, yeah, closer to your right. There you go. Oh, it's shimmery too. Let me, let me like turn three and a half hours. That would take me like four days. It's got all kinds of metallic in there, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It has copper leaf and gold leaf and the mica powder. And Oh, wow. Look at, oh, now we can see it better. Look at that. Yeah. You don't need to add anything to that. I think it looks good the way it is. Thanks. It's, it's fun. Cool. I, it needs to be cleaned up still. And I'll look at it for a couple of days and then decide right. what I want, where I want it. But I think the problem is I'm a frustrated. I want to be a sculptor, but I know I can't do that because my hands wouldn't tolerate it. So this is my substitute. <laughs> That's really cool. It really is. You can put something, hang, something from the fingers or something. Put a ring on it. Oh, that's put a good a idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I have rings I can't get over my knuckles anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know the, I know the feeling. Yeah, it that's was gorgeous. fun, though. I really like it. I mean, it, I've had this hand probably for a year and a half sitting up there waiting. So today was its turn nice. to get to be colorful yeah but using it for jewelry would be a good idea though you know put rings on it or whatever you know like for your jewelry or whatnot oh my goodness i'd have to have a whole passel of hands to put jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> the jewelry that you've made too right i have some that i've made but i haven't made a lot of jewelry my daughter's the jewelry maker in the family okay that's cool she does it more than i do i can't i don't know if it gets fiddly you know putting the little split rings on and blah blah it does, blah, get, blah. It does get fiddly yeah it does so, get fiddly. i take it to her usually and say here would you put this together please when you have time <laughs> you don't have time anymore but <laughs> wire yeah. wrapping it takes a long time doing wire wrapping oh man that's so hard on your hands so it, yeah it sure is but i love jewelry and i love art and i love color and i like experimenting so and it was fun to see what everyone else did. I learned a lot. You do beautiful work, though. You really do. And I, I love your technique and how, how well you do that. I mean, you've been, I can tell you've been doing this for a while. Like that rust, that you do that full rust look. I mean, it looks literally, you would think that that is a rusted box. It is so awesome. Thanks. I can, oh yeah, I do rust. It's better than some of those pieces. Rusted, isn't rust fun to do, though? It is. I was actually rusting things and I have a bad immune system, like real rust. And I thought, you know, even with a tetanus shot, that probably is not the <laughs> brightest thing in the world to be doing. Uh, probably so, not, yeah. I had to find other ways to do it. So. I'm sorry to hear that, though. You don't have to lie. I mean, it is funny. I know. But it really, it's like one of those dumb moments where I'm outside going, what am I doing handling rusty metal? And I had an old, like, radio flyer uh, wagon that was falling apart, literally, oh, and had cool. holes in it from the rust. And I was like... This is just an infection waiting to happen here. So, <laughs> so it was off to faux rusting now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fine because you can do it. You can make it how you want to. Yeah, make it as exactly. rusty as you want it to be. Exactly. I have some a few rust pieces left. I think I'll varnish them or something, so I know I won't poke myself with them. But it's fun. Art's fun, isn't it? It's supposed to be fun. That's what I think. It is. Well, it's thank you, art. everyone. If you're, your not inspiration. Wrong, you're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. All right, right. Becca. Becca, I'm making uh, you big, hon. Oh, you're making me big. I'm just. Oh, uh, you have to find the cursor first. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I didn't do any. I didn't do much. I finished this up, and then I've been just playing around with everything else on my desk because why not? But yeah. This is my kitty cat. I kind of like uh -huh. it not having a face. I was going to do the face. I even took a picture of how like the, the layout of the face was before I put them. But then the more I did it, I liked it without the face. And then I decided this was a jelly print that I made using a, um, uh, what the heck is that? A uh, stencil. Um, it's actually, no, it's a mask is what oh, it is. Oh, I love, the, I love the texture in that. Are you kidding me right cool. now? The texture and then I took cool. that mask off. I think this, that would have been the most print. So I thought she kind of looked neat on that without a face. Yeah, that is so okay. cool. So that's pretty much, and then I've been just kind of playing around with stuff. <laughs> they get yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, like little uh, ephemera or uh, you know stuff <laughs> yeah do stamps and 
You know, I, I just always have, sorry, who is it that can't handle the mess? Well, don't ever come to my place. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my place either, my that word. Was, that was she. <laughs> just constantly, there's always something in reach. Yes, well, that's what I was explaining, that I watch so many different people stream and these women, like they do incredible work, but their desks are always so clean. Oh, oh I don't. I, I, I always I make a joke, Kim, that those aren't real artists. They don't. They're not. They're not doing it right. Well, the <laughs> thing is, is that because I try and involve the audience, like, what do you think I should do? Should I add this? Should I add that? So I, I'm all, you know, constant rapport with chatting with whoever's here. Yeah. And so they'll say, well, use beads. Well. Then I have to have beads by me or right. or whatever. So instead of going to the back 40 to try and find it, because we all know what my place looks like. Mm -hmm. I, I joke that it's decorated post-war, like after a bombing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine too. I have boxes sideways. I have craft lanches from like a year ago that I can't reach being in the wheelchair. I can't reach it. So it's just kind of over there and hoping that eventually I'll work on mess over here so that I can get to the craft craft lanch that happened over there. Yeah. You know, it just you is it's just is and then I find treasures. That's it's right. Perfect. Yeah. That's right. So I've decided that I, I no longer clean this area. I yeah. just rearrange things. Small, yes. And then I start playing with it. So it's just kind of rearranged. Well and I think him also I think a lot of people not a lot, but the ones that have the real clean desk I think they plan everything, like kind of what you're saying. So everything that they need, they've gone around their craft room or their studio. Right. They picked out what they're going to use, and that's what they're going to use. And I, I I'm, I'm like, who, who knows? Something a whim comes up, and it's like, oh, now I got to get out all of my colored pencils. Oh, now I got to get out all my paints. And, yeah. and you want to keep the stream going, so your pencils just get shoved to the side, you know, because exactly. you don't want to stop put those away while you're streaming, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Got to keep it moving. So yeah. And, but I mean, even if you're just playing on your own, like, oh, yeah, you know, doing doing these things, right? Like, I decide I want to do shading. So then I have to dig out the colored pencils. So it's easier mm -hmm. just to have them on the desk. It's so you know? much easier. Yep. You, you want to do some embellishment. So you want your pen and ink. You want your markers. You want whatever right? everything by right you uh who what was it Anne? was it you that said or was it uh jean that said she works in a u i, I work, work in a u i work, I work in, in a, a sort of a u but that was made of crap stuff it's just so yeah. you know i asked eileen hall one time she's a designer she doesn't live far from me to do a studio tour and she just laughed out loud because she said the only part of this studio that's clean is what you see with my camera uh -huh. And mine usually isn't even clean then. Right. Yeah, exactly. but you're, you're still not have... programmed ahead of time, Kim. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's well, half the fun is seeing how far you can get Kim down a rabbit hole, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's uh sidetracked. Oh, that that's the best streams though, is when you start you get sidetracked on I, I think, get so. sidetracked on every single stream. Seriously, it it just is what happens, right? Yeah, me too. Because but it's also it's also how we learn from you. Yeah. Because I, you can have a question and she doesn't just say, Well, I'll do that next week. Right, right. I'll put that on my <laughs> list. Boom, right. I'll do it now. Well, yeah. Yeah. While well, those people are bad to watch. I like their you know, I appreciate their uh their concentration or their 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 uh organization the way that they, they design or the way that they create. But I can't create that way. I can't create that way either. I really can't. Yeah. You know, like, well, I have to have a bazillion little bits of paper in order to create one of these, right? So, yeah, right. And, and a lot of times I don't chop up from a full sheet. I'll just have like a two inch square that I fold up and wobble cut. And so I, I keep my little bits because that's what I use mm -hmm. and and I like the hole punch fodder I am constantly using hole punch confetti is it also different like if you were teaching a class you would go to the classroom with your quote-unquote kits ready to go because you're right. doing something specific right I always take extra 
<laughs> yeah, take extra. But I mean, you'd have a you'd have to have a plan, probably. Oh yeah, and the yeah. supplies, and mm -hmm. that's not what you do. I I right. have done that in the past, um, and when I was doing like the kids' tents at the fairs, mm -hmm. like, because I belong to different art groups, and so the art groups for the town get involved in the town fairs. They would have a kids' tent, and I, I would run the kids' tent. Pardon? I would love it. So, I mean, if I figure I was going to have 200 kids there, I would have like stuff to make 200 marionette ducks, paper, but I would do them in paper instead of the wood. Yeah. Um, I would, and have all the popsicle sticks already glued together so that they just had to kind of string them um, and glue the stuff together, whatever. So I would have that kind of thing, but there would always be feathers and glitter, whatever they wanted to add, right? Mm -hmm. right. So that's how I ended up with as much stuff as I've got. Because <laughs> what, when you do kids' tents, you never know how many kids you're going to get. Right. right. And you and have to be prepared. Use, you know, some of the kids will just take the whole thing and glitter and put it, and that's their art. You know, yeah. like a, that was one piece. So, yeah. yeah. Well, see, I've got them in like salt and pepper shakers now. Oh, so that it, but it gets everywhere that way. Yeah, just it does. Up, but, Glitter, you know, the devil's tears. Yeah, and lots of dad. The devil's, devil's tears. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call them. The devil's tears. They're not allowed in my house unless they're that's in glue fine. format. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I I use glitter glue now too, but yeah. Um, if, if you're if you're working with kids, you better be prepared, or they'll eat you alive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you, know, I, you also have to come up with something that's going to because they get they get so excited you know they, they're all around you and they start grabbing stuff and you know and it's like oh. um yes and no i mean a lot of the kids tents their parents are with them they don't just oh okay. send their kids off right what yeah. i find really annoying and i will be brutally honest about this is if a parent comes in with their kid and the kid is gluing stuff all over the paper and the mom goes, no, you're doing a tree. It has to be like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you're that's not art. Yeah. I have been known to be very rude, saying, um, but that's not how your child wants to do it. Um, <laughs> Good you for you. For them is kind of stealing their creativity. They need to make their own decisions when it comes to art. Yep. Yeah, and <laughs> I I have been asked not back to a couple of towns. <laughs> really? Yeah, what? yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of parents, I find, like a controlled mess. Like their kids have to have just like this space, and they have to keep it reasonably clean. Which I understand yeah. because a lot of artwork you know, paint and stuff, it's not fun to clean up. If you're a working mom, you don't want to have to be doing extra cleaning, right? Right. So I get that. But when I run an art class for kids, if they want to run barefoot through the paint and then all over a piece of paper, I let them do it. <laughs> yep. Seriously. Well, you're a cool art teacher. There's, there's, They have to experience it. They have to have the tactile feelings. They yeah. have to yeah. be really involved, right? Yeah, that's you cool. never know what they're going to come up with. Oh, no. exactly. I know they're so creative. Especially if you let them, if you let them do it. So exactly. Many, you know, it's so much, so much uh, construction, constructive teaching, yeah. and yeah. art shouldn't shouldn't be. You know. Yeah. Of course, there's there is the there's that side of it, but oh, definitely, it's um. Yeah, everybody. I I tell I tell uh, I'm always telling Beth because she likes to call herself just a crafter. I said, Beth, you are an artist. Yes, Beth, yeah. we are yes. all artists. That just because you think it's a piece, some you know, some of the things. Of course, we do are crafty. Yes, yeah. you're still an artist. Your 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 craft book. Those 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 uh, pieces that you're creating. Those are pieces of art. Yeah. yeah, it might not be that you're like my mother does not think what I do is art. She does not understand it at all. She'd probably been one of those ones that's not a tree, but she will, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, but you know, to me, it's a tree. And I'm cool with that. I'm looking at crafts are crafts are the sort of thing you don't have to put any individual thought into it. It's a it's a kit, like a, like a paint by number kind of a thing. 
you're not, you know what I mean? Unless you take that paint by number and you just paint it the way you want to. See, yes. that's the difference to me between yes. someone who's crafting and an artist because an artist kind of has more of their own unique touch to things. For sure. Exactly. I what you and, guys think about that. But, you yeah. know, like I, I taught art therapy to uh, people with varying abilities. And I had one little girl in tears while well, she was a young woman. Aww. She was in tears saying, thank you for letting me create the way I want to because I was never allowed to in school. Wow. That's so cool that she had you, Kim. You made a difference in her life. I think when she's an adult one day, she's going to always remember that, by the way. Exactly. But the thing is, is that they have a curriculum they have to follow in school. So they don't. Right. There again, their creativity is monitored. And, you know, it, it just, hey, Dusty, nice to see you. Um, it's Hi, Dusty. But it's, it's really monitored. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I like the fact that they could do whatever. I mean, unless you're teaching them how to how to paint a tree, like they want to do a realistic one, I guess that's different, I suppose. Well, yeah, and but then there's the, like my second son's kindergarten teacher. But he that's, came advanced, home. that's advanced students. That's not younger kids. That's usually junior high, high school. He came home with a frowny face on his tree picture because what? the leaves weren't green. Oh, no way. Orange and yellow and red. You don't and... do that. That Whoever did that oh, is like oh. criminal. That's a criminal. Oh, she action. was horrible. But the funny thing was, like, how do you it showed how like limited that? her own knowledge was because he looked at me and what? goes, Mom, it's autumn. The leaves change color. Oh, my and God. Then... What a great kid. And yeah. Then he like, and he somebody be doing that shit to him for that when not. the leaves change color. And it was so funny. Wow. I was like, yeah, maybe your teacher doesn't know that. And he goes, yeah, she probably doesn't know that. Good for oh, him. No. He, good for him. He has a good self-esteem then. That's awesome. Yeah, he did. But it was just something like, <laughs> duh. It must, be something, it must be something with the second kids and kindergarten teachers. Because in kindergarten, my daughter colored her school bus black. And the teacher told her it was wrong. And oh. the kids were kind of making fun of her about it. And I went to the teacher. See, that's the thing. Like, you have to think about the age appropriateness of your comments. Yeah, like, I like, a, person, a, a kid in like grade school or something, let them do what they, let them do how they want to. Like, right, 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 I'd want a senior in high school paint a bus black. If that's how they vision their bus, that's right. what color the bus is. Right. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. Bus. <laughs> Anyway, that just I, reminded I, me of a friend of ours that's a child psychiatrist. Yeah, and they had a bunch of kids. I don't remember seven or eight kids. And his wife called him one day in tears. You have to come with me to the school. You have to come to the school with me right now. Whatever <laughs> kid it was, a little boy. That she says they, they have him in the counselor's office and they say he's suicidal. What? And he's like what? what? He was five years old in kindergarten, and so they go no. to school and all of his pictures are drawn in black. And he was like. Well, okay, that's kind of strange. That's true. He doesn't do that at home. So, okay. So he said, well, let's call him in and ask him about his work. Okay. Yeah, like, well, that's okay, good fine. But, you know, it's scary. He might be suicidal. He said, I'm a child psychiatrist. I think I can deal with it. How so they called him in. He's suicidal. Said, Wait, I know. And he said, um, so, so tell me about your pictures. These are really interesting. He said, I, I noticed you're really into black right now. And he goes, well, daddy, all the other ones are broken. What? There you go. So he wasn't wow. suicidal. He was just OCD. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I love that story. But it's like, really, you just like, oh, yeah. my gosh, if they hadn't. My, my son is very literal, kind of like that, too. Like, if he wouldn't use a broken crayon either. Mm -hmm. I can see it. it. Yeah, some kids are like that. And he said, OK, that's fine. Go back to school now. Do kids even know it's suicide? I mean, tell me they don't know that in kindergarten. That's just, that's disturbing to me. I, I don't like to let go of that thought. That that can't that can't possibly be that a kindergartner would know that. Please tell me that's not. Oh, it's uh, out there, sadly. You're oh, got to, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, when we, were that, when we were so that age, labeled. we wouldn't even have. We didn't even know people even killed themselves. I don't think we even knew that was a concept. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't even a thing. It was a what? You know what I mean? People died because of. Other oh, reasons, not at their own hand. I mean, I don't even know if I even knew about suicide until probably junior high, maybe something mm -hmm. like that. When you're older, maybe you watch it's movies. Sad and, nowadays, what's going on out there in grade school? Why are they growing up so fast? They're little. Enjoy their childhood, for, you know. Yeah. yeah, they can the overreact. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> just, I, I get. I just. I mean, I'm, I'm a champion for kids, man. I, I just. I get really. 
Me too. Just, I, I, I can tell you guys are too. I obviously, I'm saying I am too because I just, I get really, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. Kids are our future, man. They need to be treated really so much better than what they are. It's just not right. You know, they're the future. Yeah. I well, thought I was the future or something, but look at where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was eight, I was told I was the future. Oh. <laughs> Well, you are. You have been. We, cool. we were the ones that invented. We were the ones that came up with the internet. So I don't know if you'll ever appreciate that or not. But it was us. That was our generation that came up with the internet. So hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I would say you're welcome. Well, exactly. We on social Brenda. media. Like, I agree, Brenda. We did. We did that for them. We did that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Their generation came up. I'm not sure what. TikTok, I guess. I don't really know. That was when I was at TikTok. But you know, I mean, their generation is more developing on social media. That's kind of been most of their generation, I guess. I don't know what to do with this, so. I'm going to put this. I have a lot of pages to work on in here. There's a lot of back of the pages that need to be done something to. I don't know like what, but I don't know what. Oh, Brenda, you know, that's just it. They don't understand. You know, but if they send their kids to an art camp, a summer art camp, then it's, you have to let the kids create, like, goodness. Yeah. Well, she did a paint pour with her uh, camp, and the women were complaining that it was a big mess, and it wasn't art. Huh. And, uh, but you I, know, mean, I, was, I wanted to join. I, I definitely went with music for me. For, it was a musical thing that happened for me. I wanted to join like the choir. This was grade school. Maybe it was third grade, second. I was really young. And you went and you went in an audition. Each, each student went into the uh, auditorium where the piano was and the, and the piano teacher or whatever. And one at a time. And I was supposed to sing something. And I did. And she was like, no, no I don't think I don't think this is I don't think this is the right thing for you. Like basically, I don't know how to sing. And ever since then, I've been so, so self-conscious if I'm singing along with something. And the music needs to be louder than my voice. I don't want anybody to hear me singing. It really affects you the rest of your life. When, you, when you're when you told something like that at, at a yeah. young age, it really affects you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. So you guys have all shown what you've done. You guys saw what I have done. We're off on a tangent here. So... Quite a few people are asking if we would do this every Sunday. Yeah. Um, shoot me a message. Let me know what you think. I'll make a decision on it over the next little while. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So that was my contribution to how to use gel prints today. Here's my contribution on how you drop mini inks into your water container. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Becca? I save my paint water and I use it as muck water for edging instead of ink because yeah. I don't have all those fancy inks and things. So I use muck water. Jamie or Jamie, uh, uh, Dana sent these to me um, because I sent her all my oxides. I didn't like the oxides. So she yeah. sent, I think I've, about half of them have fallen into my water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, it still works. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Oh no, oh, no, no. I had to look up to see if I was on screen when I was doing that. Yes, I was, of course. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Brenda. I've done the same thing. That and I have put paint in water balloons and we've thrown water balloons. We throw paint oh, like that's me fun. and my grandkids. Like you gotta have fun with it. Let them yeah. experience and create. Yeah, it's just fun. You know that that age is such a short period of time before their adolescence, you know, and they don't want anything to do with you anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, well, I've even, I don't I know how many of y'all have watched Oren on my channel, but he started, I think he was about five when he started crafting on my channel. He loves doing prompts. Who is it? Uh, Oren, it's my son's brother, stepbrother. So he, oh. I, I get along oh. with my ex. So he comes over here and spends time with me oh. and he loves it, but he is getting older. He's now 11. Uh, he'll be 12 this year and he still kind of wants to do it, but if he can use the internet, he'd rather do that, you know? And it's, it's yeah. sad to see because he, 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 used to love it. He used to come over, you know, he used to ask to come over and ask, are we going to get on the internet? Are we going to go on your channel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, he sat and he taught people how to draw a tree the one time, or I think it was a tree at Halloween time. And but it's so <laughs> fun because my son is not his his personality is nothing like that at all. Um, he's very introverted and stuff. And I think one time when I first started my channel, he was on there with me. But other than that. Well, you know, the world needs all kinds of people in it, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't force them, um, force them to do any art. It seems like I have some sculptures that he has that he has, he did in high school. And um, oh, cool. I have those in my house. But other than that, he's not into this kind of stuff. Awesome. All right. We're hitting four hours here. We're just a few minutes short of it. So uh -huh. I'm going to call it a day. Okay. I appreciate you guys for being here. If you think that you would like to do this every week or a couple of times, whatever, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, leave a, leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah. 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 And if you want to come on with us and do it, like, you know, we can have a revolving door kind of thing happening. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. But uh, I will definitely make a decision on it this week and uh, let you guys know. Sounds good, Kim. Okay, thank you, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and uh, Bye, everybody and watching and Becca. replayers. Love you all for being here, putting up with this uh, arty madness that we've got happening. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.